Hello everyone and welcome to episode 100 of Let's Complete The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. So, today's episode, as you can probably see by the length, <laughs> I'm not sure how long this episode is going to be, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be quite long. Uh, like, probably like an hour and a half, maybe more, like, I don't know how long this is going to be, but it's going to be long. So, uh, in an effort to keep it as short as possible, <laughs> Let's just get straight into it. So today's episode is obviously going to be a special episode because it's episode 100 and uh, what the hell not, right? So I mean, originally I actually had a different plan for this episode, but I changed my mind. <laughs> so if you don't know, uh, you can be a vampire in the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. However, being a vampire in Morrowind is not like being a vampire in Oblivion or Skyrim, uh, as far as I understand. So, there are like three clans, basically, which, I mean, I guess there are clans in, you know, Skyrim, because there's, you know, there's, there's the Volkahar clan, and they all kind of have different attributes, but like, it, it doesn't really matter. The point is, it doesn't matter what, which vampire turns you into a vampire in Oblivion or Skyrim, you're just a vampire, full stop. <laughs> However, it does indeed matter in Morrowind, so... There are, there are three clans, basically, this is what I'm getting at, there are three clans, and you can only join one. Um, and of course, you can then cure your vampirism. Uh, but once you've cured your vampirism, it's over. You can't be a vampire again, as far as I understand. So, in an effort to, you know, completely 100% this game, I want to join all three clans. But of course, I cannot do that with one character. And while we do have three characters, I didn't want to sacrifice the... Because, like, Avalon would just straight up not be a vampire. Like, it didn't fit at all. I don't want to sacrifice you know, the role play just to complete that. So what we're going to do <laughs> is today is going to be a super mega long episode and uh, there's just going to be some, some like funky time stuff going on. You know, we're just, we're going to do one clan and then, you know, I don't know, Orena, she's going to, she's going to have some like really vivid nightmares, you know, <laughs> and then she's going to wake up from the nightmare um, and, but then she's going to have a second nightmare and we'll, we'll do the, we'll do the other clan and then, then she'll wake up again, but then she'll actually join a vampire clan for, for like for, for realsies. Um, and then we'll like keep that and we'll continue on and we'll cure vampires. <laughs> so it's kind of, it's a little bit cheesy, but I think that's the best way uh, to do this. Like get get all three clans done without having to, you know, basically, because, you know, we could do one with Orena, we could do one with our third character, and then I could make a fourth character just to do the one vampire clan. That is ridiculous. and I don't want to do that. And I, mean, I guess it's kind of smart that, um, you know, they've made it so that, that like there's, Morrowind has a lot of replayability uh, in the way that they've designed the guilds, which is good. But at the same time, like, it doesn't have replayability because I don't like it. <laughs> like, the game is just so... It's just so difficult to play for me. I, th I think I'm just too young. But, yes, the point is, we're going to become a vampire. So, the reason we are over here is because, uh, as I mentioned, if you want to join a specific clan, you have to be... Uh, turned into a vampire by a member of that specific clan. Uh, I don't know where it goes from there. <laughs> I just know that you have to find the specific clan. So uh, that was Balmora, by the way, if that wasn't clear. Uh, so I did test this and we should be able to, you know, be turned into a vampire, uh, it, even though we're on like God mode or whatever. So I think that, that should still work. It took a few minutes, but it should work. So we just need to try and find, now we're a little bit too north, we need to try and find, we are looking for an ancestral tomb, and I see it, it is right there. So, let's hop, hop on in. Are there any enemies outside before we go on in? No, I think we're good. Okay, so, we're going to go inside here. Uh, excuse me, can I get through the front door? Thanks. <laughs> so, yes, we're at an Andrethi ancestral tomb. This is trapped, but I don't really care. And these guys, hi, these guys, yes, you can see that their eyes are white. These guys are vampires. So, this took a while last time. <laughs> I mean, not too long, to be honest. Um, it took like, I don't know, like like two minutes, maybe. I just stood here and I let them hit me <laughs> constantly. I don't know if you can get the, because um, I think what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, absorb health, vampire touch. So yeah, they are doing the absorb health yeah. spell. Uh, ooh, okay. I don't. I hate that growl that they make. Yeah, so you see, she's got her sword out now, because I assume <sighs> she's like out of magicka. I don't know if, because in Skyrim, you can get uh, Sanguine Vampiris from, I think it's Mo- Ah, there we go, there we go! We got it, excellent. Porific Hemophilia. So yeah, it's called something different. I think it's called Porific Hemophilia in Oblivion as well. Uh, but of course, it's Sanguine Vampiris in Skyrim. But yeah, I think you can get it from magic and swords in Skyrim, but it's like more likely from 
magic, I don't know. Either way, the point is we have the disease. <laughs> and that's what I wanted. So can we can we like see it? Is it like a an active effect or no? We just got magic items and, and spells. Like, is it down here? Weakness to fire, frost, shock, magicka, blind. Ah, the okay, there we go. Perfect hemophilia of restore fatigue one point. Great, okay. <laughs> and we've got Nothing. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, we got resist disease 75%, so that's maybe why it took a while. Okay. So as far as I understand, we can we can leave now. Um, I don't want to kill them because, of course, they are part of, like, the clan or whatever. Uh, so I don't know if that's going to cause problems. Now, we are going to sit here. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we're probably going to be interrupted our rest. Your journal... Oh, our journal has been updated. I should... Oh, okay. <laughs> I should check on Fast Eddie in the Telvani Council House. He may have found the Amulet of Unity. No. Uh, we have bigger fish to fry right now. Fast Eddie is going to have to wait. So, I think it should take... It's usually three days for vampirism to, like, bloom. Oh! Okay, our, our rest has been interrupted. That's fine. Um, it's just a silly worm. Okay, are we done? Can I go back to waiting now? Thanks. Let's just wait another 24 hours. Aha! There we go. <laughs> I dreamt of a blonde maiden. I drew near and saw the and saw she was crying, but her tears were red as blood. I touched her tears and tasted them, and they were wonderfully salty, sharp with spice and savour. But the maiden's face had changed, her skin grey white, and red tears dripped from her lips, and her hair had turned black, and wreathed her head like twining snakes. I was afraid, but could not run. I screamed, and then I woke, heart pounding, cramped, and aching. So, yes, this is very common. We don't have these in Skyrim, but in Oblivion as well. Like, vampirism came with all these creepy dreams. So, oh, look at this. We've got a whole load of new effects down here. Jesus. So these are the normal ones. And then we have... Ah, there we go. Okay, so Fortify Attribute. We have... Oh my god, wow. We are, Our vampirism is uh, boosting our... Attri our strength, willpower, speed, and agility by 20 points each. That's pretty amazing we oh my god <laughs> fortify skill sneak ac athletics acrobatics hand-to-hand -hand, unarmored mysticism illusion and destruction by 30 points and sneak unarmored and hand-to-hand -hand by 20 point what the hell it's uh it's buffing unarmored and hand-to-hand -hand, like twice separately <laughs> we get 30 and 20 points so 50 points overall interesting uh, we have, that's normal. Oh, okay, 100% resist disease. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have resist normal weapons 50%. Nice. Resist paralysis 100%. Oh my god, this is really powerful. Uh, vampirism at, ooh. Sun damage. Five point, okay. Right. See, now that sucks. <laughs> because we had to deal with this in Oblivion, and boy do I hate sun damage. Now, it is nighttime currently. Will that affect us? Because we're on god mode? I have no idea. No idea at all. But the point is, we are now- Oh my god, is that- Has she actually changed? I think- Let's look at her eyes. Oh my god. Also, if you can hear that, that's my uh, cat slamming around. Oh my god, look at her. <sighs> oh my god, I don't like that. Or Renna. <laughs> yeah, look at her a little bit worse. I mean, she was ugly to begin with, because, you know, it's Morrowind, and she's her face is made of three pixels. But yeah, look at that. Her eyes are white, and her teeth have changed. I think I'd like- like the bridge of her nose is scrunchy as well, you know, kind of like the uh, the the vampires from Buffy, <laughs> which is pretty cool, and also like the ones from uh, Castle Volkaha. Oh my god, yeah, that's so creepy. So it's honestly even more creepy down here, just like this tiny little. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, no, we'll put the helmet back on. You need to get like a closed face helm. So I'm not sure exactly what to do now. We haven't got like a quest or anything, but I do know. That. Where is Tell Fear? Here it is. Yes. So, oh, that's actually uh, really well placed. So, we're going to go to. Yeah, we'll go to Tell Fear. Yes. Uh, we need to be careful with the fire. No, not the fire damage, the sun damage. <laughs> that is not something I've ever had to deal with. What time is it right now? It is. Okay, 1 a.m. That's decent. So, let me just check my map uh, because basically the way this works, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> Uh, we should have gone to, yeah, you know what, let's actually, actually, let's go to Uv, Uvrith's grave, which is our house, <laughs> uh, which is unfinished. Did I spell that right? Yes, I did. Okay, so we're here, there's our house. 
Uh, we'll continue with that later. So we need to go this way. And we are looking for a dwarven ruin called Galom Deus. Now, let me just double check. Where is the book? The book that we need to get in order to finish our house. Uh, amulet, that's not what I want. Let's actually just go, go here. Quests. Uh, trade mission. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Ah, a cure for vampirism. Okay, so that's a quest. Did we have that before? I don't know. Uh, there we go. Telvanni's stronghold. What does she want? Galem. Yes, Galem Deus. Okay, so yeah, that is the ruin we need to go to to find this book. However, there is no point in taking the book because this is this is not going to have happened. We're going to reload because <laughs> there are three vampire clans and there's one that we definitely want above the others. So yeah, this is one that we're going to reload. So there's no point getting that, which is a shame. But anyway, yeah, we need to go, I think, just this way. And it should be just right over this hill. Hopefully. <laughs> if I am correct, we have a, a flame atronach. I was going to say frost atronach, but no, no. Wrong element. Let's uh, shock it to death. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's more what I was thinking. Uh, okay, where's this Dwemer, Dwemer ruin? Should be massive. So, you know, should be pretty easy to find. Okay, we have a lava lake here. And I believe it's going to be on the opposite side of the lava lake. Can you come down here, please? Kind of need to, excuse me, sir. <laughs> can I actually, oh yeah, look at that. I can actually uh, jump and cast a spell. Ah, there we go. It looks like the Dwemer Ruin is right over here. We've got this this crocodile thing following us. I still don't know the names of all these things, but oh well. So, if I am correct, <laughs> uh, which is a big if, especially when it comes to Morrowind, we should be able to walk in here and they should be our friends and then they should give us quests. I think, because they're they're like part of the same clan of vampires that turn us into vampires to begin with. So hopefully that and this is like their base. Oh no, it's just a rock I thought something interesting, but never mind. Okay, so let's let's have a look, shall we? Let's just do a quick save. And let's head on inside. Hi. Okay, I mean that that's a shame. Why um yeah, no, l listen, I, I haven't really got time to die, okay? I respect your opinion, but... Hi! Oh, yeah, right, Cathlord. Yeah, see, have we been here before? I think we have. We have to come here, excuse me. No, listen, I haven't got time for that, okay? Absurd, yeah, see, we've definitely been here before, and I worry that that might have screwed things over because we, uh, aggroed them previously, which is really gonna suck. So, I am gonna figure out what's going on here, and I'll see you in a second. Okay. I have literally been running around for like the last 25 minutes <laughs> trying to figure this out. So there are multiple things. So first of all, we are we are in the we're we're in this place, Gallum Deus. Yes, unfortunately, this is where the book that we need to retrieve is. Though I'm kind of worried that like we already retrieved it because we literally had to come here to get a book for someone else. Uh, was it was it Baladas? Maybe I can't believe I keep remembering his name, but yeah, I think it was. Anyway, the point is these people were aggroed, so I just used Calm Humanoid. Um, and they're all chill now. So, <laughs> this is a man who should give us some quests. I think he's only got a couple of quests. And then there are some generic vampire quests that you have to be a vampire to do, but aren't really clan-based. Which is really confusing, but it's also really difficult to get those quests. Because literally no one will talk to you. <laughs> because you're a vampire and they just, I mean, yeah, I mean, to be fair. How could you not know? Like, look at that face. So, it's, honestly, the eyes are really, really creepy and I'm not a big fan of that, but... Yeah, so it's really difficult to get, but I did manage to figure it out in the end. So, but now we're gonna talk to this guy. We're gonna we're gonna see where it goes. I think. Yeah, look at that. This oh, wow, we can jump say hi. Yeah, see, this is where the book was before that we found. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's not the same book because if it is, I don't know what to do. I mean, surely they wouldn't do that because if it was for Baladas, then that's that like they're literally both in the Telvani quest line. So why would they double up? I don't know. Anyway, the point is, let's talk to this man here. What is it? Abomination? Oh, abomination? <laughs> Abominate? Why am I an abomination? Okay, this is Raxel Burn. It is only because you have burned blood in your veins that I do not kill you where you stand. Oh, well, thanks, I guess. The ways you may serve me are limited. Okay, well, yeah, so if you don't get it, this is one of the clans, Burn. Uh, and that, you know, cave, well, tomb that we went into had Burn vampires in, which I don't know how you're supposed to know that. <laughs> Because, like, it doesn't list that you're part of this clan anywhere at all. I don't know how you're supposed to know that or, like, stumble across the, upon it. It's so ambiguous, which just is moral wind in a nutshell. But anyway, how may I serve you? 
Hmm, you wish to be of service? Very well, you are expendable. Jesus, okay. The Quara vampires are a powerful clown that makes their lair in Dr Drukashti. But Volrina Quara is their leader, a powerful vampire indeed. She draws much of her strength by drinking from the blood of her Quara elders. Get me that Quara blood potion and I will allow access to the services here in Galem Deus. Okay, sure. I mean, I don't think Orena is really the serving type, but listen, this is not real, so I will serve you. Hmm, you will likely die, but so be it. Go then to Druskashki and bring me the blood I desire. Okay, so we're, are you not going to tell me where this place is? No? <laughs> okay. Quara vampires? Oh no, it's just vampires in general. Oh look at that, he does tell us about the clans. We are the dark walkers, those who prey on the warm-blooded. Our gifts are many and weaknesses few. There are three major clans. Uh, uh, Onde, Burn, and Quara. There are others in this world as well, living like cattle in tombs under the ground. Okay, so yeah, you can. I think if you get turned by like a vampire that's not part of a clan, it's just a complete waste of time, basically. Because uh, you can't do... I mean, I'm sure you can probably do the just generic vampire quests, but you can't do yeah the clan ones. So anyway, thank you very much. Uh, are you really not going to... Yeah, I mean, I guess he's just not going to tell us where the place is. That's great. They fear nothing and with good re reason. Of all the clans, they are the strongest, at least physically. They are not subtle and would rather slaughter an entire village than choose a few on which to feed. Okay, good to know. So it sounds like they're warriors. And I think that that is kind of a, a thing with the vampire clans. Like, each one is kind of best suited to a specific kind of player. So... Oh, you know, play style. You know what I mean. Anyway, how do I get out of here? Oh, yeah, I had to kill these guys. Because <laughs> they were uh, causing problems. Just got a corpse here. And yeah, just got a whole lot of cattle, which... Can we feed on them? I mean, we probably can, right? I don't know. Do we need to feed? I, I have literally no idea. Because <laughs> previously, you always fed on sleeping people. But I don't think people do that. I don't think they sleep in Morrowind. So, I, at least not that I've seen. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway... I don't suppose this guy told us where we're going. No, of course not. Okay, so... <laughs> I'll, I'll find where the hell we need to go. And I'll see you when I do. Okay, so apparently uh, it is about here-ish. So let's go to Margan and we can head down that uh, <laughs> uh, ravine. I figure what they're called. You, you know what I mean, though. Uh, we can head down that one more time. And yeah, by the way, thankfully they don't just attack us on sight. Because that would really, really suck. But yeah, these guys do not like us. <laughs> Because I tried going to Aldrun, because uh, that's where one of the just generic vampire quests are, and yeah, I tried to talk to people, and they were they were not a fan of that, not a fan of that at at, at all, not one bit. Yeah, they do not like me. So uh, I mean, to be honest, like no, no one liked me beforehand. So <laughs> we haven't really lost anything, because yeah, they they all hate me in Sadrith Mora anyway. So whatever, it's not really a big deal. So yeah, we need to keep going this way. Okay, and we have. <laughs> <laughs> Some lovely cliff races. So I'm not really sure how um because we do have like a shitload of buffs actually from being a vampire. Uh of course you can't like I mean the fact that you literally can't talk to anyone is like a real problem though, because I mean it makes sense, I guess, and you can totally like tell that we're a vampire, but it means that you can't do any quests, which surely like completely defeats the point, because what's the point of being super strong if you can't use your super strong powers on anything like <laughs> i don't i don't understand the point I, mean, I guess you could just wander around and like do dungeons i suppose but like the dungeons in morrowind are boring it, it like they're not that interesting there's, there's rarely anything in them they all look the same so it, oh, like i don't know like why why would you want to be a vampire if you can't do any quests <laughs> you know i don't know but anyway is this the place that we are looking for perhaps perchance it's it's about in the right place i feel like we've been here before can i can i please just get up here it shouldn't be this difficult come on Listen, I've been through a lot already. <laughs> and uh, we're only like, you know, like 20 minutes into this episode. If that, it's going to be a really long, really, really long video. Okay, look, you're going to make me, you're going to make me levitate. I can do that. Unfortunately, it's not natural ability that the vampires come with, but I can levitate. Trust me. Uh, okay, where's, where's the front? Yeah, so I think we've been here before. Is this the, no, okay, yeah, that's, but, but, that place, you know what I mean? Okay, so not quite. Let me check my map though. Okay, so it should, in fact, just be a little bit further up then. Uh, like, just a little bit further up here? 
So I feel like we probably definitely st ah, there we go. It's weird that there's two Dwemer cities like literally right next to each other, but sure, whatever. So I feel like we definitely, we walked past this when we we're looking for, we, we went into that one or something. <laughs> I don't remember what, we're about to fall out the sky. Yes, indeed we are. Okay, yeah, you have to come down to me, okay? Thank you, is your, is your brother gonna attack? Yes, that's exactly what I thought. As always, you guys just can't leave well enough alone. Okay, so here we have, look at that, we've got some uh, cool writing on the on the door there. So yes, here we go, we have Dr Dr Drew's gas, gas, that place, upper level. So these guys are obviously gonna be hostile <laughs> uh, because we are not part of their clan, but that is fine with me. So let's open up these doors, hello. Okay, you're just cattle, so can I like, can I feed on you? <laughs> Get away from me, vampire. Okay, how do I feed? I don't know. Okay, are you able to feed on people? Who the hell knows? Not me. Hi, okay, you're just cattle. Hi, yeah, there we go. Thank you. That, that's what I wanted. Wow, you, you're pretty scrappy. <laughs> Running around. I hate that, like, growl they made. It's like a, a layered sound, and I'm not a big fan of it. You have to say, ooh, vampire. Wow, vampire dust with 500. Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, we're gonna, like, uh... Reload, there's not much point in taking it, but I'm, I'm gonna take it anyway, okay? It, it's just... Listen, I'm just obsessive, okay? What's this? A, oh, trap? A skill... Oh, a skill book. Sneak skill book. Interesting, okay. So I wonder if this is the sneak-centered clan? Perhaps? We're, yeah, I'll just... Uh, yeah, whatever. There's really no point in taking this stuff, is there? Uh, okay, let me just check. There's no... Uh, oh, what's this? What is this? Cheap disease resist. Okay, yeah, I've got to... Because we're looking for the... A uh, blood potion, I, which I assume will be in a bottle. We got, okay, this is a door, but it's trapped. That's okay, because we only need to open one side. Hi. Please don't growl at me. It's not very polite, okay? You have a name? Yeah, you do have a name. I can't say it, of course. But <laughs> I assume we're just looking for the, you know, the the head honcho, uh, who will probably be just at the tippy top, wherever the hell that is. So, we came in from there, so it looks like we need to go down this way. Hi, you're just more... Cattle. Okay, I'm getting a little bit turned around. Hello. Uh, have you seen? I'm looking for a blood potion. Have you seen one of those? My spell just like disappeared into nothing for a second there. You trying to poison me? That's not very, sorry, polite. Vampire dust. We got a whole wow, a whole lot of uh, armorers hammers, which is nice, but you can keep those. Anything? Uh, yeah, there's really no point in uh, looting these chests. We can always come back in like a real save and loot this place properly. Uh, in fact, yeah, we we might actually have to do that anyway. I think so. Yeah, we'll just leave this for now. Okay, yeah, you're just cattle, we'll let them live, I suppose. Okay, lower level. Uh, I figure she might be at the tippy top, but perhaps she's at the bottom? Uh, we got- okay, oh, hi! Uh, yeah, listen- <laughs> Yeah, I got be- oh, are you- are you coming- are you circling round? Is that what you do? Yeah, okay, thank you so much. Ooh, that's a cool, uh, is, is that an ebony curish you've got there? That's cool. Hi, you came out of nowhere. Yeah, see, you haven't got even nearly cool enough armor. <laughs> that's the other girl. Yeah, look at- oh, Siri- Siri! No way, the-, the <laughs> This is the Siri. Okay, so we got, yeah, look at that. It's got a full set of ebony stuff. Man, reminds me of a Velen, but yeah, of course, it's not real, so we won't be taking that. I will take the vampire just, though. Uh, just for, just, just, just because. We got, okay, you're just more cattle. Where does the, where do these stairs go? Is this high? Whoa, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> that was a really delayed reaction. What have we got here? Oh, Peacemaker. Is that? What is a? Uh, oh, silver star. Yeah, I thought that was um like a, a star that we got from the Mages Guild. But I think I'm just uh, losing my marbles. Firebite star. Ooh, very nice. But yeah, we don't really need any of these. Glass dagger. Yeah, I got some cool stuff. But whatever. Do you have what I'm looking for? Uh, it's got steel staff of shaming. <laughs> we well, are a vampire, so shame on you, I suppose. Now we got exclusive fire resist. No, what's your name? Yeah, no, you're not the person I'm looking for. I'm looking for a, a well, a woman to start with, but I don't remember her name. <laughs> As per usual, it started with a V. I think v, v Quar, we'll just call her V. You know, me, me and her, we go way back. You know, I'm, I'm sure she'd be okay with uh, using nicknames, and even if she's not, I don't much care. <laughs> We're here to kill her and take her uh, blood potion, like blood of the ancestors or whatever the hell. Uh, which is a super creepy thing to do, but, you know, just drink... Yeah, your ancestor's blood, but hey, I suppose that's uh, that's vampires. Oh, okay, so you're you're a woman. You're a woman, and you got cool armor. Are you the per yeah, v Volrina Quara, and yeah, the cattle just don't give a shit. <laughs> okay, we got vampire dust. We have oh a key. Uh, oh, more vampire dust. Okay, sure, why not? Heartstone, which is a ring. Fortify endurance, five to twenty points. Sure, we'll take it. Why not? And glass poison sword, which yeah, we won't bother taking them. Hi, I mean you you guys can let go free. 
<laughs> you're, you're free. I, I released you, but okay. Now, where is that? Mm, okay, now the question is, where is the potion? <laughs> we got... Oh, Quara's key used to open the lock. Oh, there we go. Blood of the Quara Masters. Worth 5,000 gold. Telekinesis 20 feet for 30 seconds. Chameleon 100% and Fortify Strength. 50 pot. Wow, that's actually a really powerful potion. <laughs> really, really powerful. Oh! Whoa, okay. I think they're mad because we stole. And they saw... Okay, well, whatever, guys. <laughs> you're all so offended. I mean, come on. You're, you're just cattle. Like, you're free now. I've, I've, I've like, kind of inadvertently freed you because, you know, like, I killed all your masters so you can just leave, I guess. And you still have the braces on, but... I don't know, I'm sure you... Between you, you can probably figure it out. I, I don't know, I guess not. Maybe, maybe they're like under some sort of spell, but surely the spell would be broken if their masters are dead. Who knows? Anyway, let's head back to... Yeah, we need to head back to down here. So let's go to Uvarith's grave yet again. Uvarith's... This is such a difficult <laughs> word to spell. Uvarith's... No. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Uv... Uh... Riths. No, not two, for God's sake. <laughs> Grave. There we go. Jesus. Yeah, spelling is not my not my strong suit today. Uh, when is it ever? <laughs> Don't think that has anything to do with the day particularly. So, yeah, just over this hill and then on the other side of the lava lake. And we can hand in this potion. Now, I think that this particular potion, um, weirdly enough, it actually has to do... Whoa, 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 what the hell? Are we going the wrong way? Or am I just losing my marble? No, I just didn't see that bridge before at all, which is really throwing me through a loop. But no, we're okay. We're going this way. See, I think that potion, you actually have to... This is just another example of how weird Morrowind is. But you have to actually you Like, you have to hand that potion in for another quest as well, like a generic vampire quest. But of course, you can't do that if you've done this. And I, I mean, you can, like, pickpocket it or steal it or whatever, but obviously we don't have the skills to do that, so... Uh, yeah, so I think we'll just do that in, like, one of the other saves. But yeah, it's really weird. Anyway, where where is this this guy that we need to hand, hand this stuff into? Are you up here? Yes, okay, here we go. Hi, I'm back. I got, honestly, I want to keep that potion, but I hand it into you, I suppose. <laughs> yes, little monster, what do you want? Okay, I'm not sure I approve of that nickname, but okay. I have the Quara Blood Potion. You have found it. You surprised me, clanless one. I mean, am I not part of your clan? Like, I have the blood, but okay. As I promised, you may use the services here at Gallum Deus freely. Do not overstay your welcome. Okay, yeah, okay. I mean, I just did you a massive service, but sure, whatever. Do you have any other quests? Yeah, I mean, he hates us. Okay. <laughs> you wish to be of service once again? You, you ridiculous mistake. Jesus, okay. I will allow it, but only this time and never again. If you wish, I have an errand for you. There is a vampire, formerly of this clan, living near Margan. Oh, for God's sake, I was just there. <laughs> Myrta was one of my most trusted lieutenants until she decided to become a rogue and lead this clan. I wish her dead. She takes cattle that should be rightfully proper... Okay, hang on. That should rightfully be property of my clan, and she had the audacity to leave my service. Kill her for me. I will kill her for you. Hmm, you show some spirit. She will likely kill you. You will find her in a tomb to the west of Margan. I believe the Rayloth tomb. Go now. Rayloth tomb. I vaguely... That name is familiar. I'm not sure why. Anyway, let's head back to Margan. Uh, and yeah, we will indeed see if we can find this lady and kill her. So yeah, I'm so glad these guys don't attack on sight because that would be <laughs> awful. Okay, now which direction did he say? West. West of Margan. So which is... Which way are we facing? This way, yeah, see, I, I do vaguely remember we had to, like, go this way it was for something else. We had to find, like, a, a a merchant or something, I think, in a tomb. So that could be this same one. Oh, that looks like a tomb to me. We also have a uh, cliff racer here, as per usual. When, when do we not have cliff racers, eh? Now, is this Rayloth tomb? No, Rothan. Oh, so close. <laughs> so close. Yeah, you see, I it, it was similar, though, because they both start with an R, so I wasn't completely wrong. I was just half wrong. <laughs> Uh, now, where is uh, the, the Rayloth tomb, though? Now, you see, it would make sense to have it be pretty close by. <laughs> you know, when they say west, west, west of Margan, it should actually, like, just be west of Margan, but uh, this is Morrowind. 
and they they don't do that not at all they like to send you all around the houses just for shits and giggles because they think it's fun to not give you any direction which i genuinely don't understand why people like that i mean you know there is definitely something to be said about you know skyrim uh, like literally pointing you towards everything but like the, there's a fine the, like, there's a big difference between completely pointing you towards everything and just literally not giving you any idea to go on whatsoever like yeah which is basically what morrowind is so yeah i don't know where this place is so let's kill these guys and oh my god <laughs> being attacked left right look anyone else Anyone else? No? Okay, music calm down. I mean, you're, you're gonna have beef with me in a second, aren't you? So, anyway, let me just check my check my map. <laughs> Margan and... Okay, yeah, so it is west, it's just a bit more west. So, uh, let's head back, back this way. So yeah, Rothan Ancestral Tomb, and it's just a bit more west of that. So, ah, yeah, look, look at this guy. Yeah, see, I think this is one of the guys we talked to in either, either quest or something. I don't know, whatever. I'm not gonna talk to him this time, though. I do not care what he has to say. So, are we heading back in the right direction? Or might No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, I'm already... Oh, is this is this Rothan? I think so. Yes. Okay, that's Rothan. Excellent. So, we now need to go just this way. And it should just be over this hill. Hopefully, I feel like I'm still being chased. But whatever. Are you going to have... Yeah. I knew we'd have beef. I, I knew it. I knew it was too close to... Oh, my God. <laughs> Cliff racers! Leave me alone. For God's sake, I'm just... Uh, also... We're in the sunlight right now, but we're not taking sun damage. I should. Oh, but it's oh. okay. Fine. Listen. Look. You. You. You guys are gonna be taking sun damage, though. I mean, not really fire damage, but it's close enough. Oh. Okay. We have a daedric ruin there, which is cool, but we won't be doing that. Oh. Okay. That was a big jump. Big jump. Yeah. We're not taking sun damage, which I assume is because we're, you know, on god mode, whatever. But I'm not complaining. Okay. This is the tomb. This is the tomb. Is it the tomb? No, oh, excuse me. Excuse me, where are you going? What? <laughs> Why was he just running away? Was he trying to lead me to his pack or something? Who knows? Is this? Yes! Reloth Ancestral Tomb. Okay, so there's gonna be a vampire in here. We need to kill her. <laughs> Easy enough. Oh, okay. You're not You're not the person I was looking for. Are you? You're not a person at all, actually. I mean, maybe like multiple people? Because these guys are like an amalgamation of many different skeletons, whatever. Okay, hi. Yeah, I'll deal with you in a second. Anything anything around here? Anything interesting? It doesn't really matter because we're going to reload, so whatever. Let's just run through. Okay, anything anything interesting through here? Wooden door. Uh, excuse me? I can't. <laughs> the skeleton was behind the door and was literally blocking me from opening it. That was kind of lame. Okay, anything? Okay, just, oh, a small gem. Yeah, okay, well, we'll check. Anything interesting? No, just a petty soul gem. Okay. <laughs> well, further to... Oh, okay, well, that looks like a vampire to me. I mean, there's no, there's no cattle in here that I can see. Oh, okay, maybe. Oh, okay, you just more. Oh no, okay, there are cattle. Oh, I smell burn blood on you. Die. Okay, well, I listen. Uh, I can oblige with the idea of dying, but it, it won't be me that's dying. Trust me. Murder. Do you have anything interesting? Poison mirror robes resist poison twenty to forty percent and reflect twenty to thirty percent. Not bad. Sixty three gold and the demon tanto. You can keep that high. Are you okay? Yeah, you're just cattle. We have scroll of clarity. Celerity. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Anything in the small chest? Not really. Nothing interesting. Anyway, it's a whole load of trash. That's great. Yeah, a whole load of cattle. Your common disease. Yeah, okay. Not not much for this tomb. So there we go. Now that is the final uh, quest for. We need to head back to this <laughs> stupid place that I can't spell. Uv 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 riss. <laughs> Grave, there we go. Uh, yeah, this is the final quest for this clan. So, in a minute, after we've handed this in and seen what we get, uh, we will uh, go back in time. <laughs> and we will join the second clan. Because, uh, yeah, I think we will do the you know generic vampire quest on the real save file. Because, uh, yeah, of course, those ones are... You know, I, I want as much of it to be real as possible, just not these two clan... Two, two, two clan... There's two quests for the other two clans. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> And not doing a very good job of it. So I am back. I need to find this guy whose name I don't even remember, as usual. Hello, I am back. I've killed I've killed Murta for you, even though you're very ungrateful. As per usual, and you know, call me names, which I don't appreciate. Hello, sir, what, what's your name again? Remind me. Raxel, of course, Raxel. Yeah, I don't appreciate called being called a little monster. But anyway, Murta's dead. You've killed her? 
Astounding. I expected you dead by now. Perhaps you have some potential, you horrible accident. <laughs> Here is an amulet. It will allow you to return to Galem Deus if you have need to. Kill some of the other clan's worthless vampires, and perhaps I will have future rewards for you. Speak with me no more. I have no need of you. Okay, burn amulets. So that's nice. It's just a you know easy way to like you know teleport home essentially. Future rewards. Kill more of the Onde and Quara, and perhaps I will have something more to give you. Okay. I don't know if that's an actual thing. I didn't see that. I assume it maybe just like gold or something. Um, but anyway, I will find that out for now. Uh, I think Orena. I think the alarm's going off. You know, she's just gonna wake up from a horrible dream. <laughs> what a weird dream that was, eh? It, Orena, she's just she's stuck in this uh, ash storm. You know, making it a little bit delirious. Anyway, you know, so delirious. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh okay it's actually uh, cleared up but, you know anyway she's gonna take shelter inside this tomb and you know she's just she's not quite in the right right in the head so trying to be able to fight back you know <laughs> hi yeah I definitely haven't seen you before man this is crazy oh this is exactly like the <laughs> exactly like the dream I just had so uh yeah anyway we're just gonna just gonna stand here for a second or or ten I don't know how long it's gonna take but hopefully we will um. You know, be able to survive this. So, what, excuse me, can you also? Why are you wearing? Um, you're wearing like really heavy duty trousers, but no top. That's a an interesting choice because you know, like all of your essential organs are like you know in your chest. So, wow, it's a really long sword. <laughs> I feel like it would make more sense to you know cover your chest and protect that where all of your essential organs are, rather than just your legs. Although I suppose if you're a vampire, do you need your organs? I I suppose not. I I'm not really sure. I mean, come on, we have got three vampires attacking us here, like. Can you, come on, come on, can I have por porific hemophilia? Yeah, oh man, look at that. <laughs> the, the white eyes really do creep me out. They're way creepier than the um, uh, the, the orange eyes uh, of Skyrim. And I think, what do your eyes look like in Oblivion? I think they're just red. Yeah, yeah, they're like light red. And you also like look really, really old for some reason. <laughs> it like ages you at least 50 years. Yeah, I remember that within uh, Oblivion playthrough. Uh, thankfully, we had a helmet so we could uh, hide her ugly face. <laughs> and I mean, we do also have an, a helmet in this one, but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't cover our face. So yeah, we got to see her. Oh no, of course, yeah, no, we're not. I mean, we are kind of still ugly, but yeah, we can. Yeah, this is what we normally look like. Uh, but yeah, we're about to um, have a little bit of a change. Hopefully, Did you just say seize him. I I am not a him. I am a her. Excuse me. Listen, I know you're kind of trying to kill me, but I would, I would appreciate it if you could still respect my pronouns. You know, in this trying time, it's just kind of about respect. You know, listen, you can try and kill me all you want, but it doesn't have to be rude. Okay, come on, guys, don't don't make me cut. Just 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 make me a vampire. Okay, you're kind of ruining the joke. So I think I, I'm not sure why this takes so long. Sometimes it's I think it's like um. Yeah, you know, the same way that we have to, like, roll dice in order to see if we hit something, I think they have to do it as well, but because we're on... And we, we do have 75% disease resistance, which is annoying, uh, but I think that's just, like, inherent, so I don't think we can... I don't, I don't think we can remove that, basically, which is kind of annoying. Uh, perhaps because we're on god mode, it takes longer. I don't, come on, guys, I mean, there's three of you. This is, like, honestly really embarrassing. <laughs> oh, she got, um, she got longer fangs. She's a Khajiit, but obviously she's also a vampire. I think her fangs are longer. That's really cool. That's a really cool touch, actually, because I don't think that doesn't happen with in um, Skyrim if you're a Khajiit. I don't think so, anyway. Uh, come on, I mean, come on, guys. This is like, this is really getting better. It's been three minutes now. Can you, and there are three of you. I mean, yeah, I mean, look, look, this guy, he's got such a big sword. And you can't, you got really big teeth, like. Come on, you can't you can't give me that vampirism. No, are you really gonna make me cut? Fine. Okay, there it is. We have it. That took like another three minutes. So yeah, I guess we all just got really lucky the first time. Anyway, peace out, guys. Uh, don't want to upset anyone. So oh look at that, the ash storm started up again. <laughs> Great. So we now need to wait three days. So let's do just that. Hopefully our waiting our journal has been updated. Well, oh yeah, of course, fast Eddie again. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna have to wait. Yeah, we'll wait three days uh, and then of course we already know where to go because we went to this clan's headquarters uh, in, in a previous lifetime. <laughs> but here we go. Is this the same? Yeah, that's the same dream as before. Okay, so that's great. Okay, 
So we should be a vampire now. Yes, indeed. Look at all of that. Excellent. So we need to go back to Margan and head up here, which of course we have already done. So <laughs> we know the way. So it should not be too difficult to find. It would be helpful if I could spell, though, as per usual. So, we are a vampire once again. Now, we should be part of the Quara clan this time, because uh, that is the, the the second clan that we need to do that we are not going to uh, keep. Uh, but yeah, you know, alright, she's been having some really, really, really crazy dreams recently. You know, all these ones about blood and stuff, but, you know, also just... Uh, about, about weird things, you know, it's like she just knows where this thing is. It's almost like she's it's like she's been to here this, here before. Crazy, isn't it? You know, these dreams are just so vivid. <laughs> uh, see, I know it's not like particularly roleplay friendly to like do these things and then reload, but also there's not really any other way to do it because, yeah, I'd either have had to, uh, you know, sacrifice the roleplay for a Velen just to, you know, do one of these quests and I really don't think you would have done that. Um, or I would have had to make like a whole separate character just to do one clan, which I think is really lame <laughs> and just something I'm not interested in. So not going to do that anyway. I feel like there's uh, a lot more, um, a, a lot more enemies down here this time. Why would that be? I have no idea. Did, did you? Oh, excuse me. Uh, you've lived? Absolutely not. Thank you. <laughs> Can't be having. Yeah, there's loads more enemies down here this time. What the hell? Is it just like a random... Spawn chance? I don't, I don't really understand. I don't know the, you know, spawn chances and stuff for Morrowind. I don't know, I don't know anything about Morrowind, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I've put so many hours into it at this point, and I still feel like I don't know anything about the damn game. Because it's just, it's just such a difficult game to play. Anyway, can I get over this mountain? Because it should be, yeah, there we go. There, there's the headquarters. Now, hopefully these guys are not aggroed against us like the other guys were. Yeah, although it doesn't really matter if they are, because we can just calm humanoid and... Oh, we should be all good, but, um, it's crazy that you can do that. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I don't know, I don't think, uh, Calm Humanoid also has a memory wipe spell, but anyway, of course, we've already been here, so let's just head on inside. Are we, yeah, we've been, um, tracked there, but anyway, inside we go. Hi, guys! Uh, are, are you, like, chill with me? I think she was, um, uh, the, the main woman was down here, right? Are we, are we all chill now? Are you gonna be, listen, I know... <laughs> Are we, are we chill? Yeah, okay, we are chill. Great, and we can also loot some of this stuff. Uh, again, there's no point. Uh, so, yeah, lower levels. Uh, yeah, we're all chill. We're all chill now. Um, so, yeah, listen, I know you might have been hearing some crazy rumors. Maybe you guys have also... Have you been having weird dreams as well? I've been having crazy dreams recently. Uh, maybe you have the same dream as me, but yeah, it's crazy. I had a dream that like, I came here and I killed you. I almost took all of your stuff. That was crazy, right? How would I know that? Anyway. Hi. Can you Can you help me? Volrina definitely didn't kill you in another lifetime. You're actually quite pretty, even though you are a vampire. Hi. What is it, fresh blood? You have no place here in the house of Quara. You're of very little use to me. Oh, well, that is where you are wrong. I can totally be of use to you. <laughs> you're a mistake in our world. Were you not of my blood, I would kill you where you stand. But I am in need of an errand runner. You will do. There is a vampire near Guinness who has taken the name Irarak. <laughs> he finds himself worshipped as a god by some of the local mortals. This mockery must not be allowed to continue. Kill him for me, and I will allow you use of the Qu Quara clan services. Or you may go from here forever. I will kill him. Hmm, we shall see. He may not be a powerful vampire, but he has many followers. I do not expect I will see you again, yearling. Yearling? I have no idea what that means. Okay, anyway, uh, a vampire near Guinness. Okay, is that the only thing you're going to tell me? Lovely. <laughs> Useless, as per usual. Why do they do this? I mean, like, can we ask around? I suppose that's not something I've been doing. Don't, okay, yeah, wow, okay, never mind. <laughs> Looks like we cannot ask around. No one wants to talk to us. Yeah, see, and this is the thing, because it's like, okay, listen, if it actually worked where you just asked around and they would actually tell you things, then fair enough, but they don't. <laughs> Which is very annoying. Oh, hi, yeah. I figured we were being tracked by something. Oh, oh wow, okay, yeah, we got a <laughs> whole... <laughs> Old coven of cliff races here. Three, well, three to be exact. A coven is a little bit, um... Well, you can make a coven out. Oh, okay, no, four, four. Yeah, okay, I'd say that's a coven at that, this point. Any more? Anyone else? Are we all good? Okay, let me, uh, let me figure out where this place is. Gonna do this live, because I'm sick of cutting. Uh, can I excuse me? Sometimes this, um... <laughs> I have my big long list of quests, and sometimes it does not let me, um... Uh, just like click through to the web page. This is annoying. We need to go to Ginnith Ancestral Tomb, apparently, uh, and it is 
northwest of Guinness. That's great, but can you show me where it is on the map, please? Because directions usually don't mean anything. <laughs> okay, where exactly is Guinness on this map? Oh, look at oh, look at that. She's um <laughs> shielding her her face from the storm. Anyway, that's not what I want. Where is where is Guinness? Okay, there's Guinness, and that's the yeah. I mean, it's kind of it's quite northwest <laughs> of Guinness. But it's, is this Guinness? Where's Guinness? Ah, okay, that's Guinness. So it should be right about, yeah, I think so. Let's just go to Guinness and we will figure it out from there, hopefully. <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully. Nothing ever, okay, are we, are we good? Yeah, okay, I was wondering if this is what, whoa! Okay, we just kind of flew to the side a bit, but whatever. Okay, north, northwest of Guinness, this way. Okay, we've got a, oh, a rat here. You're going to have, yeah, I was going to say you're going to have problems with me. And yeah, we should just uh, avoid the cities altogether because while they don't seem to attack you on sight, I'd rather not take the risk. What's this place? Matt? <laughs> uh, how incredibly des descriptive. Uh, hi, guys. Oh, yeah, I remember this place. It's like a cool little uh, uh, den. Or what are these guys called? Uh, allets? Yeah, an allet. Yeah, like a little allet den. Oh, look at this. It's got a chest with some trash in it. Lovely. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we found that with a villain anyway. So let's follow this little... Uh, Ravine, they have another name for them here, but I've forgotten what it's called as as per usual. Hi. Hi. Honestly, I don't, like, why, why would you even bother trying to kill me? Who knows? Silly rats, eh? Now, where where is this place? I mean, the tombs, uh, they do stand out a little bit because they at least have the, you know, the, the door architecture. It looks like a, a shell of some kind of bug. <laughs> There's many of them in Morrowind, many different kinds of bugs. So, I mean, it should be fairly easy to spot when we're near it, but at the same time, the draw distance on Morrowind is non-existent. <laughs> oh! 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 Yes! Guinness Ancestral Tomb. Excellent. Now, we are being chased by who? Oh, but, oh there we go. By a Nyx Hound. Okay. Uh, oh! Oh! Can I can I get up? Are you a Nyx Hound? Yeah, you are a Nyx Hound. I thought you might have been uh, one of those black beetles then for a second, but no, it's a Nyx Hound. But anyway, we have uh, ri rid the world of him. So, let's head on in here. And see who we can find. Apparently a vampire being worshipped. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Anyway, hi guys. So, are you gonna are you gonna be upset? Well, here we go. Here, here's the man himself, I Iverek. Yeah, I mean, you guys don't um, I mean, do you not know he's a vampire? Because I mean, I guess they do, and they just worship him. Because yeah, I mean, everyone else hates that we're a vampire. But whatever. Hi. Do you have dialogue? Greetings, my dark friend. Welcome to the brood of Lord Iverek. Okay. Yes, I am the Dark Lord Irarak, <laughs> and these are my minions. They serve me as their Dark Master. Perhaps one day I will bestow upon them the gift of life eternal, but until then they will be content to serve me obediently. They provide comfort for me while I provide them with my pre presence. Yes, they supply me with food, shelter, and other material gains. They are my children, protecting me from those who would hunt our kind. And if they earn it, perhaps I will one day bring them into my dark embrace, to walk the night with me as a vampire. Okay, yeah, you see this is getting a little bit, um, the, the familial relations here are getting a little bit grey, because, uh, yeah, we've got to, like, listen, this is not how you treat children, okay? Um, but anyway, uh, the point is, material gains? Yes, well, there are those benefits as well. Look, I'm beginning to see your angle here. I've got a good thing going, and I don't want it ruined. I'll pay you well to leave us in peace here, friend vampire. I will tell them that you are my blood friend who walks above, spreading our word to others. I'll also pay you well. What do you say? Okay. So, I mean, you see, the thing is, he's actually being nice to us. <laughs> Which is so very rare. Everyone hates us. I mean, I thought the, um, you know, our clan vampires would at least like us but they don't so that's a shame but i don't want to lock ourselves out of the next quara quest because that would be really annoying so i mean i assume we can probably just lie but i don't want to risk it so anyway and also i don't think um i don't think orena really buys this so. <laughs> you're a buffoon you must die <sighs> me die i think not vampire to me, my minions, slay this false god. He seeks to kill me. He? I'm not I'm not a he. People keep misgendering me, honestly. Like, just because I'm a vampire doesn't mean, like, is it suddenly not clear that I'm a woman? Who the hell knows? Anyway, hi. Whoa, okay. 
So yeah, I guess that's maybe like a, an easy way out. Yeah, we kill. I mean, listen, your your god died in one hit. So um, does that not tell you something? Also, we should um, we should switch over from fire to shock because these are done, man. I mean, we're still killing them in one hit. I'm not stupid. You're stupid. Anyone else? Or are we done? So yeah, I guess that's like an easy way out. But I don't know if that really um. Okay, you haven't got anything. Nothing unique. Very disappointing. Look at these guys. They do all have unique names though. But again, they got nothing interesting. So oh well. Anything interesting here? Not really anything. Yeah. No. Okay. Just a whole load of trash. <laughs> what material gains? Yeah. Literally. What material gains do you talk about? Like there is nothing in this place. Very. Oh hi. <laughs> we just got. Did you come from the outside or? I have no idea. Where did he come from? Who knows? Anything else in here or are we? About dumb is that like yeah? There's, there's literally nothing in this tomb. It's complete and utter trash. But sure, whatever. Okay. So we now need to. We're actually not too far. Ugh, are we far enough away to? Yeah, you know what? I think we can walk from here to our or, or fly, <laughs> fly to our home from here. Oh, look at this! The big bridge. I love these like big bridges. It's very um, uh, very epic. I suppose they're Duomo bridges, which makes sense because yeah, pretty much. Anything made by the Dwemer is always very epic. That's, that's, it's kind of their uh, modus operandi. They always did many cool things. I mean, ultimately, it got them all um, poofed into non-existence or killed. Or uh, that's a matter for debate, I suppose. But you know, they did they did some cool things while they were here. Nonetheless, we'll avoid that town. Uh, and yeah, I don't really think that guy had anything to offer us. You know, gold or money doesn't really care about unless we've got plenty of it already. But you know, it's like, oh, cool, you're gonna like not attack us. Great, but the point, like, it just, I don't know, I don't really understand the point of being a vampire in Morrowind at all, because you you literally can't do any of the quests. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, there's no escape, okay, that, that's cute, guys. Yeah, you know I'm, like, literally flying in the air, right? <laughs> yeah, I think it's you that has no escape. Um, also, uh, you can't, I cannot take anymore. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, listen, I, I didn't even do anything, I just kind of floated on by, and you're already surrendering, so I, I don't know what to tell you, I feel like you, you never really had the chance, but... You know, I could have told them that before they even aggroed onto me, but, you know, they're the ones that want to start the fight. What the hell? I thought I just heard a dragon. <laughs> like a growl, but no, I think I'm just uh, just losing my mind. <laughs> you know, Rena, she's just, just very tired, you know, how with all these crazy dreams she's been having and <laughs> weird alternate realities. Oh, alteration skill increased to 95. Nice. Is this our house? I think so. It's not a house, but our, our base of operations, all those, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Got a pile of cliff racer corpses outside. That's the telltale sign of home. Okay, hi again, guys. Let's uh, get down here. Is this to the yeah lower level? Excellent. It's kind of annoying me to walk all the way around, but hey, whatever. There's, there's worse things in the world, I suppose. So I'll live. Hi, I'm back. You try my patience, monster. Mmm, you try my patience. Brood of Lord Irarak is gone. Lord Irarak? Ha! Well, you have done well in destroying that fool. As I promised, you will be allowed access to the services here in Drushka. Do not overstay your welcome. Okay, man, everyone hates me. We should check out the services. I assume it's just sell stuff or whatever. Used to me? You wish to be of further use? I will allow it, pathetic child. <laughs> I am attempting to create some powerful magics for members of my clan. Thus far, I have been unsuccessful. I will need some more raw materials with which to work. Uh, okay? Are you going to... Tell me about that, or has offered me a chance for that she needs a large number of magical amulets for her clan, and has need of raw materials to do so. Uh, okay. What what raw materials though? I don't I don't understand. Huh? See, this is my problem with Morrowind. Now, do you guys have any um? Yeah, okay, you have nothing. I want to see what these services are. I assume it is just, like, sell stuff to them. Not going to be anything particularly interesting. Yeah, okay, you have nothing. Nothing but scorn for me. Disrespectful. Got cattle up here. Anyone else? Angel, hi, do you have services? You do? Yeah, so we can barter with him. So, yeah, he's just got a whole lot of trash anyway. So, yeah, thanks. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe some other people have, like, training or something. I assume the cattle have nothing. Uh, there was someone through it. Yeah, do you have anything? Yeah, barter and repair. Okay, so. Yeah, just a waste of time. Um, what material? Like, Mar oh man, Marwind really, uh, <laughs> really pisses me off sometimes. Like, how am I, what raw materials? 
<laughs> why why do they not tell us that? I thought that was like an Argonian running on a treadmill, but no, it's just gears turning and I'm losing my mind. Oh, look at that trap again that we can read, but of course we're going to reload this. Okay, well, let me figure out what the hell we're supposed to do here. <laughs> and I'll see you when we do. Okay, so unfortunately, I don't think we can do this quest uh, because I checked the wiki and, well, for starters, uh, the list of ingredients that we need is ridiculous and really difficult to find. But the point is, is that she doesn't have the option. You can see I persuaded her up to 100. She does not have the option to talk about raw materials, uh, which means that we can't do the quest at all. Uh, it is a known bug on the wiki. So I tried, uh, like I made a save and I tried adding all the ingredients using the console and handing them in to see if it would work. And it does, you know, before I spent like an hour or more looking for all of those ridiculous ingredients. Um, and it didn't work because she won't, like we haven't technically got the next journal update because we haven't talked about the raw materials. But obviously it's not an option, like there's nothing I can do. <laughs> and I tried, um, I, like, I tried using the console to, um, uh, the, what do you call it? Uh, you know, like, it, it progressed the quest. Um, and that also didn't work. So, unfortunately, we can't do this. Uh, it just won't let me, it won't let me do it. I tried, like, reloading beforehand and doing all of this again. That also didn't work. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. The point is, it's just not working. I don't think we can do it, which is a shame. But I can tell you what happens, which is just that we would have spent over an hour looking for the ingredients, which would have been awful, which, by the way, the ingredients consist of <laughs> uh, five extravagant sapphire amulets, which is going to be incredibly difficult to find, two portions of void salts, one dangerous heart, one portion of vampire dust, which we should have been able to buy from an alchemist, but probably quite a few different ones, because, yeah, they're all quite rare ingredients, and one skull, which, I mean, that shouldn't be too hard to find, we just have to go like to an obscure place but yeah the extravagant sapphire amulets that was going to take forever to find um and yeah and then she just give you a amulet to recall to the clan headquarters just like previously and also the um you know if you if you do more stuff then i might reward you further that is all it is for both clans is just that if you kill 12 vampires from the other clans um then they'll give you the permission to use vampire touch on the clan's cattle um and that's it. That's the whole thing, <laughs> which is an awful lot of work just to get that. So whatever. So yeah, that's that's the whole thing. We're just going to leave this. There is this little um, bit more info that I wanted to read, though. So if I, I asked her about Quara and she says, Above all clans, we stand alone. We have few limitations to our power. So great is our gift. Our dark powers make us perfect predators, perfect warriors. Those who live in the sunlight fear our name. And in response to our dark powers, as a Quara, you are gifted above all. Your strength and fighting skills are unmatched by any. Throw away your armor and weapons, for so great is our skill that they are unneeded. Uh, so yeah, there we go. That's interesting. Actually, uh, we have a look at our actual effects. I think they should be different. So we have fortify attributes, strength, willpower, speed, and strength again <laughs> by 20 points. So essentially we have 40 points of strength. Why do they separate that? I don't know. Uh, we have... Oh my god. <laughs> fortify skill... Sneak, athletics, acrobatics, hand-to-hand, -hand, unarmored, mysticism, illusion, destruction by 30 points, which is a little bit different to the previous ones. Yeah, this is like the Sneak clan. Uh, the Burns was the Warrior clan, and the a Anandai, whatever, they are the Magic clan. Uh, and we also have hand-to-hand, -hand, heavy armor, and blunt weapons at 20 points, um, which is interesting, I think. Is this the Warrior clan? Maybe this is the Warrior clan? Who knows? Anyway, we also have, yeah, that's normal. We have, yeah, resist disease, resist normal weapons is normal, resist paralysis is normal, and of course, sun damage. Okay. So, yeah, that, that is it. Unfortunately, we can't do that, but it's not a big deal. So, uh, now, you know, listen, <laughs> uh, oh, we just, we hear, we hear the alarm ringing again. It's really strange, you know, we just keep hearing this ringing in our ears, and, um, you know, I think, uh, I think it's time to wake up. Oh, boy, that was a really strange set of dreams we just had, eh, guys? <laughs> Anyway, you know, yeah, honestly, I think, uh, I think Orena, she might just need to, I don't know, like, uh, go to the doctor, get, get some sleeping tablets or something, very, very strange. Um, but anyway, uh, we have other adventures to do. I, How delightful. I mean, Welcome. Oh, see, yeah, see, I'm, I'm really glad to hear that. At least you like me, because, man, no one likes me in this game. <laughs> Did you guys, like, I don't know, like, release some sort of, uh, like, magic toxic fumes or something while I was sleeping? I, I had really strange dreams. 
I know, you might need to, like, I know, check for, like, signs of Vermina's influence or something. Really strange stuff. Anyway. <laughs> back to the, uh, the canon timeline. Oh, yeah, look. <laughs> this is all my stuff that I dropped on the floor. We'll pick that up at a later date. So, for now, we are now going to, uh, continue our journey. Uh, but it's gonna be for, for, for reals this time. So, <laughs> we need to go to Dagon Fell. And there we can find the actual vampire clan that we are going to join, although not for too long. So, uh, we need to go this way. <laughs> yes, I'm amazing at directions, as you all know. That's my uh, the strongest skill. Um, totally. Don't don't fact check that at all. Don't go back and watch any other episodes. I don't know why you'd be watching this episode like out of order. That's it, kind of weird, but sure, whatever. Do what you want, I suppose. We have a cliff racer, as per usual. Anyone else here? We've got a mud crab. Yeah. Any more cliff racers? Wanna come on here? Did like bite at my head? Yes, we do indeed have more cliff racers. And I shouldn't have dropped in the water because now we're gonna have at least 50 uh, slaughter fish on our tail, which is uh, not fun. Although we don't have a tail because we're a high elf and not Khajiit or an Argonian, but uh, you, you get the idea. Are you are you coming over to me or? Yeah, yes, no? Maybe? Not sure? Okay, well, I'll leave you to figure that out, man. Uh, that's like not my problem. Okay, so the place I am looking for should be Right, aha! That might be the place I'm looking for. What is this place called? I don't actually know the name of the place we're looking for, though. So. <laughs> uh, the name isn't going to be particularly helpful. But maybe I'll recognize it when I see it. Yeah, there we go. Serethi Ancestral Tomb. So, there should be more vamp. Okay, trapped. Yeah, okay, yeah, well, whatever, whatever. I don't care that it's trapped. There should be vampires in here. Hello? Oh. Okay, no, that's just spooky noises. I thought it was a ghost. Hello? Hi! Yeah, okay, man, these guys are so loud. Right, yeah, see, yet again, I've had this conversation with one of your other compatriots, although I suppose he's not a compatriot because you're part of, like, different vampire clans, so, well, one of your, uh, mortal enemies, I suppose, uh, it would be wise to, like, you know, armor your chest rather than your legs, because, like, you can live without your legs, but you very much can't live without, you know, all the essential organs that are, like, within your chest, but, uh, again, like, if, if he's a vampire, does he need essential organs? I, I don't know, that's very cool, um... Is that hairstyle you got on? Yeah, cool little uh, like headband or whatever. Very cool. Yeah, if you could just um, you know, give me your disease, that'd be fantastic. Is there anything interesting with chess actually? While I'm, uh, well, while we're here, you know, no, nothing interesting. Okay, that's disappointing. Come on, man, put some oomph into it. Okay, be be more like the 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 burns. You know, they they gave me the disease really quickly, but it, you know, the other ones, the quaras, they took forever to give me that disease. I had to wait like five minutes, and I really don't have to do that again. I mean, I think this uh this episode is like. I think we're at like about 50 minutes, I think. I'm not sure because I had to cut so many times. So hey, everything's in uh, uh, multiple different clips and I'm not in the mood to do maths today. Uh, not that I'm ever in the mood to do maths on any day, but definitely not today. I've, okay, just a hot tip. Just a hot tip, man. Um, if you stop backing up, <laughs> you might have a better chance of hitting me. Just saying. Because um, you see, the thing is, I'm like just standing here and I'm not like doing anything. So... <laughs> You totally don't need to back up. It would actually, you know, benefit everyone if you just, you know, got up close and, you know, slashed at me instead. Um, but, you know, that's just a hot tip, you know. It, it, it's completely your choice, you know, whether or not you want to do that. Die. Come on, no, no, listen, I'm not going to die. Um, so don't don't lengthen this process. Just just g give me the disease that I need and then I can be on my way. Okay, cool, uh, cool sandals, by the way. Are they sandals? I'm not sure. Shoes? I don't know. They kind of look like sandals, like uh, uh, the... the, the what, the the Grecian style of sandals? You know, the ones that wrap all around the legs or whatever? Come on, man. Give me the... Look, I, actually, hang on. If we back him into a corner, that might make things easier. <laughs> no, no. Do, oh, okay. Yeah, you can't really do that in Morrowind. Come on, don't make me cut once again. That's so lame when you make me do that. Please. Can you just can you just give me the disease and then we can all be on our way and, you know, you can go back to, I don't know, just standing in, the, in, in this corner and... Looking at the wall or whatever the hell it is that you guys do, and I can be on my way, and everything will be good. We are like uh, we're really tall compared to him, which <laughs> I suppose makes sense. Oh look at oh look at that! He didn't like that. He's <laughs> he's like oh yeah, listen, you might be taller than me, but I can stand on this chest. But you see, the thing is, I can also stand on this chest if I want. So uh, yeah, it didn't really work out. Come on, man. Come on, are you gonna make me cut? Really? Just give me the disease, and we can all be on our way. No. Fine, I'll cut. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, that took 10 minutes. <laughs> so I'm really glad I cut. So thank you very much for your uh, uh, help, buddy. 
Uh, oh, actually, anything anything interesting in this chest? No, of course not. <laughs> okay, well, let's just get the hell out of here. Oh, hi. Okay, I see you've uh, you, you've followed me finally. You managed to get past that rock you were stuck on. Okay, anyone else? Anyone else? Can I continue? Okay, I can continue. Great. Okay, so, uh, again, how are you supposed to know where the base of operations is for these vampire clans? How are you supposed to know that? I don't know, but anyway, I happen to know, uh, through the power of Google, <laughs> that we need to go to this little island here, so it's actually not a particularly small island, but you know what I mean. Okay, so, man, that took forever. <laughs> so, so long. Yeah, I think we just got really, really lucky the first time, because... Yeah, that seems to take a long time. But anyway, the point is that's the final time we'll ever have to do that. So <laughs> that is A-OK -okay with me. So let's uh, levitate because I do not want to have to swim across these uh, slaughterfish infested waters. Otherwise, we'll be here for the next 10 minutes yet again, uh, just fighting slaughterfish, which is not my idea of fun. Not at all. Although I suppose it would at least be uh, more entertaining than just sitting here waiting to contract a disease. But uh, hey, depends on your personal opinion, I suppose. <laughs> But anyway, let's uh, let's keep going. Hopefully we don't run into too many enemies because I would like to not have to switch spells if we can. Oh, we just phased through that mushroom. Isn't that brilliant? <laughs> what an amazing thing we can do, eh? We can not only fly, but we can also phase through things. And just when I was saying that I don't want to run into too many enemies, when you know it, a cliff racer has come to say hello. Oh, hi guys. Yeah, we got more of these guys. Okay, yeah, of course. Of course, you can't go anywhere in Morrowind without being attacked. By 15,000 cliff racers. Come on, you, you want a piece of me as well? I know you do. And you're going to follow me otherwise. So, okay, we should just be... I think this... This is the island? Just here? Yes, this is the Morrowind's map is not particularly good. Hopefully, can we get across this... Uh, oh, yep, that's what I was thinking. I was like, can we get across this before we uh, stop levitating? And the answer is no. Hopefully, we got... Yeah, see? Slaughterfish. Okay. Let's get rid of you so you're not, uh, you know, making battle music for a fr oh you resisted magic right of course <laughs> well i i also have shock damage so yeah listen it's not gonna work out too well for you so uh once again i've uh forgotten the name <laughs> of the place we need to go oh is it this ash ash maybe uh let me double check my map i have uh everything open what is the place we are looking for called ash yes it is indeed this okay so anyone else following me yeah see i knew there was still fighting music going on anyone else or am i good okay we're all good so let's head on inside and see what we can find out hi guys hi. wait what huh hi. why 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 are you attacking me i mean we can calm him what the hell? Are we not a part of this clan? Oh no, because we're not actually- oh, okay, for God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I see the problem. Uh, we didn't actually wait uh, the three days to become a vampire, that's why. Uh, I'm just losing my marbles. General's been updated. Yeah, that'll be fast. Eddie again. We'll go and see him later. Okay, yeah, of course, I forgot that you actually have to wait. <laughs> For vampirism to set in. Okay, oh, it's been interrupted. Okay, great. Listen, I'm kind of trying to do things here, man. Okay, anyone else? Let's just wait another 24 hours. It doesn't take very long at all. And there we go. Yeah, that is the uh, that's the same thing as before. So, oh, for God's sake, leave me, leave me be. <laughs> I have more important things to do. Where are all these beetles coming from? Okay, so demoralize humanoid. No, not demoralize. No, calm humanoid. There we go. So, <laughs> we are a vampire now. So, let's go back in. He might be... Yeah, he'll be aggroed again, but that's okay. Calm him, and hopefully he's uh, he's all chill now. So, do you have anything to say? What do you want, new blood? Okay, I mean, that's it's slightly less rude than the other... Whoa, look at that! Hey, look at this! We can uh, clip through the ceiling. That's fun. <laughs> what a great game. No, no bugs at all. Uh, okay, hi, hi... Whoa! What in the hell? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Anyway, let's head inside... Here. Oh my god, this place is big. Okay, so that's the that's the front. Okay, this is trapped, but whatever. Hi! Am I allowed... Oh, I see. This is like... Oh, I thought it was like a prison, but no, it's not. Okay. Why why was that door trapped? Surely that's, uh, you know, just like a living hazard? <laughs> I don't know. We got... Yeah, I, I assume we'll be able to use this stuff at some point, but... Although maybe not, to be honest, because none of them like us. That's locked as well. Yeah, man, this place is huge. Okay, that's also locked. Oh my god. 
Uh, who are we actually looking for? Not you. Man, these uh, vampires are so creepy looking. Uh, can I take anything in this? Yeah, we probably shouldn't take anything because they are uh, <laughs> uh, not really a fan of us yet. Uh, not that they ever are, really. That's also locked. Oh my god, so many locks. Well, uh, so many locked doors I really want to go through, but I guess I don't want to make them mad at us and lock us out of anything. Hi! I, 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 who's in charge here? Is this just the other... Yeah, we've just like circled around. I'm so confused. <laughs> so incredibly confused. How do I... Do I have to drop down? Is that what is that what it wants us to do? Do I have to drop down that thing? The, uh, yeah, this, maybe? I don't know, let's check everywhere else first before we drop down, because we might, well, we wouldn't be stuck. I assume this will take us down? Probably, and I guess the, the drop is just a shortcut, maybe? Yeah, look at this, you can... <laughs> Hi, buddy, yeah, we can totally clip through this thing. Okay, what's this? Okay, this, this door is not locked. Oh my god, this place is huge, and I'm so lost. Hi, I... I'm looking for the person in charge. I don't care if this door's trapped. Let me in. Oh my god. This just never ends. Who are you? Hi. Yeah, no, okay. You have nothing to say. Uh, they don't like me as per usual. Oh, okay. You see, now you look important. <laughs> you look important. Da, 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 mm. Darnanane? Ondai? Perhaps? Is that what you're called? You got some uh, interesting, like, you know, uh, jails here. Okay. Man, this place is huge. Yeah, absolutely huge. I have no idea how to get out, by the way, but that's that's a problem for later. For now. What is it, little monster? Why 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 do you have to call me names? It's just it's just rude. Whatever. How does an abomination such as you plan to serve me? Well, listen, you you have to tell me that. What what tasks do you have? You? An unfortunate accident perpetrated by one of my kind? Hmm, you are expendable enough, so maybe of use. I have some questions about my past I need answered, and you might be fit to get this information. Answers about my family. Ooh. Yes, fresh blood, I once had a family. We were highborn, even among the Ultma, and I lived with my husband and young son until my rebirth. My sire killed my former husband, but my son, Villandon, was allowed to live. I am curious what became of the boy although he has likely gone the way of all mortals now. Still, it would be amusing to know his fate. It That's interesting. That's a very cold. I mean, I don't think there's any law that suggests that, you know, once you become a vampire, you, like, become a psychopath. <laughs> or a sociopath, I suppose, who, like, doesn't care about anything and is just, you know, like, completely... Like, there's no law that makes them, you know, like, completely disconnected from their former life i mean i suppose eventually you would become disconnected but like surely not immediately like would you not want to at least i don't know uh but anyway i will find i will find out about your child good if you bring me back useful information i will allow you to use uh i will allow you use of the clan services here at almalech if it suits me too the last i heard of any of my former family they occupied the region that is now sadrith mora you may wish to start there. Take this ring. It bears my family crest. Any high elf in the region should recognize it and may be able to give you information valuable to me. Go. Okay, we have the Anandai signet ring. Interesting. Anything about the family crest? Any Ultma? Yeah, okay. So we're looking for Ultma. And hopefully anything about your son? Yeah, okay, cool. Right, okay, well, first of all... <laughs> We've got to find our way out of this place. I mean, we can just, you know, fast travel from inside here, but it is kind of cheating. Which way did I come from? I don't even know, man. This place is so confusing. Are you going to get in my way? <sighs> Probably. We'll have to wait for him to, um, him, her. I don't know. The point is they're in my way. Can I get past you? Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Where did we come from? I have no idea. Like, I don't think we even came. I don't think we were even in here. Oh, game at dinner? Already read that. Uh, we may as well, yeah, I mean, we can't really take any of this, oh my god, look at all these, yeah, valuable potions. I don't think we're allowed to take any of this stuff yet, but, uh, it's good to know that it's here. We can, of course, read books if they're here. Can I? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. That's, that's the trap. We can just, I mean, is it a trap? Like, I don't, what's even down there? Who knows? How do I, is this the way out? I don't know. I, oh, I think this is the front door, right? Yes, okay. Oh my god, that was so... <laughs> Why is this place so much bigger than the other one? I mean, I know that, um, oh, for God's sake. I know that this particular clan is, like, way more detailed than the others. Uh, for some reason. I, I don't know why they made it like that, but 
they did. <laughs> so whatever, but for the time being, what are we doing? Uh, she said to go to, yes, yeah, Sadrith Mora. Okay, and then we just need to ask around about, well, ask around um, with the Ultma and see if they know anything. The thing is, uh, we're going to have to be careful because, you know, like they typically don't like us here. Well, just in general, but also because we're a vampire, no one wants to talk to us and they will attack if we talk to them. Thankfully, they don't attack on sight, but if we talk to them, they realize we're a vampire and attack. So we're looking you for an Ultma. No, I don't want to kill you. Okay, are you an Ultma? Yeah, see, they all know we're a vampire. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make a save. Because <laughs> this could go south very, very quickly. So we'll make a save. And are you an ult? Uh, I think she is. How tall is she compared to us? Ah, uh, she's actually, she's not super duper tall. Like, I think we're taller. And also I her, I heard something. her skin tone is not as yellow as mine. But, like, she's definitely taller than this wood elf, right? Is she an ultma? Or oh, she can't be anything. I don't know. Let's try it. I don't fear you, vampire. Be gone, fiend. Okay, yeah, we can't talk to her about anything else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's scream all you like. Okay. That's <laughs> unusual. Yeah, unusual. I know. Um, okay. Where where can we find an ultma, man? Is is there an inn in Sadrith Mora? I have no idea. Can I see the local map, please? We have a, that's the council house. We've got the ship. Is this the, ah, oh, there we go. Gateway Inn, North Wing. Isn't there something weird about this inn? It's like, where is it? <laughs> Am I looking at it? Yeah, I need to go this way. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm a vampire, I know. Ah, yes, down here. Yeah, I, wasn't there, wasn't there something weird about this inn? Or was there a, oh yeah, I remember that. That's cool. How do I, how do I end? Oh, I see you have to go up here. Yeah, what the hell is that then? I don't know, but anyway. There was definitely something about this inn, but I don't remember what. So vampire you're a Dunma. You yeah, I'm a vampire. Okay, just just checking if you've got any books to read. I'm looking for a... Oh! You're an Ultma. You're definitely an Ultma. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, look, Family Crest. It's an option, but he won't talk to us. So I guess we just have to find the... <laughs> your face does not match your body. <laughs> You got the body of like a an orange cap, and then you got the face of like a, a a tabby cap. That's interesting. Okay, we've got the south wing, the north wing. Anyone up here? I'm looking for Ultma. Ultma, yeah, yeah. Growl at me Stay all you like. It's not gonna help me. A vampire, no. Okay, yes, yes, a vampire, yes. Okay, yeah, nothing up here. So I guess we just have to find like a specific Ultma. Because that guy is an Ultma, but he won't speak to us still, because we're a vampire. That's the West Wing. Yeah, man, I remember this place being big, actually. Hello, okay, you're a Khajiit. Okay, that goes out to Sadrith Mora. Hi. What, what the hell is down here? Large round door? I don't remember this. What the hell? I have, okay, I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, but there are no Ultma down here, so that's not helpful. Oh my god. Okay, west west wing or gateway. Let's go to the west wing. What? Hi, any Ultma? Oh, you're an Ultma. Foul beast away! Aha! No! Okay, yeah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Remarkable, a vampire in Morrowind and still alive, so to speak. If you're looking for a vampirism cure, I can't help you, but I can tell you where to start looking. Okay, I mean that's not actually what I was looking for, but tell me anyway. I don't know whether vampirism is a disease, and if it is a disease, I don't know if it can be cured or how, but I have heard rumours of a cure for vampirism, and I recall reading a reference in a rare local book that might be useful. Look for a book called Vampires of Vardenfell Volume 2, which we've already found and read, I believe. It might be hard to find here. It was suppressed by the temple, but I recall reading something there about a buoyant armature who became a vampire, but who was cured. Okay, well, thank you for that piece of info. However, I have some questions to ask you. Um, gateway, where's where's the option to talk to her about the the crest? Really? Come on, don't tell me it's not an option. Are you joking me? <laughs> gateway, Imperial Cult, latest rumors, advice, secret, Mages Guild, Morrowind Law, my trade. Sadrith Mora services, someone in particular. Really? Ulma? Okay, background, gateway, uh, imperial cult, rumors, 
Okay, yeah, Soul's Time. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm not interested in Soul's Time. A secret? Advice? <laughs> Mage's Guild, Morrowind, Trade? Nothing? Oh! Oh, Telvani mouths. Okay, yeah, whatever. For God's sake, what the hell? I found an Altma that talks to us, but she won't... Like, she doesn't have anything to say about the one specific thing. For God's sake, okay. <laughs> Are any of these skill books while I'm here, just to, you know, make this worthwhile? Hello, can I, can I read this... Excuse me, can I read this book? Okay, well I could, but it's not worth to, worth anything to me anyway. Okay, well, ooh! A Grand Soul Gem. Mm, that's worth a lot, but we're going to get in trouble if we try and steal that. No one in here? Okay, yeah, she's kind of got... I suppose it's not a private room, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, hiss! Whatever, leave me alone. Come on, we're... <laughs> Two old are in here, one of them won't talk to me. And the one who will has nothing to say. <laughs> Wait, what is this? This is ridiculous. Oh! I remember that, yes. <laughs> That's what I was remembering about this plate. What the hell, man? We found, like, two Altmer in here. And none of them will talk to me. What the hell am I supposed to do then? Uh, my only other thought, I mean, there might be some, um... There might be some, okay, like, in here. It, uh, you know, in their shops and stuff. But my only other thought is Wolverine Hall? Um, because, I don't know, like, these people are, like, more important or something. <laughs> And it does seem like the, the mages, like people in the mages guild will still talk to us. Um, even though everyone else hates us. And I don't I don't know why that is. Is it because we're the archmage? Is that why? Or mages are just more accepting? Yeah, see, yeah, we've got loads of old ah, here. A van, a van, fire, go away, go away. Yeah, whatever. Okay, hi. Do you have anything to... Aha! Family crest. Hmm, yes, I believe I've seen it before. Or at least one similar. I think it was when I was in the gateway it... I was literally, okay, talking to another Ultma. Hard to be certain, though. It was a long night of drinking. I'm sure you would understand. <sighs> See? Foul beast yeah, 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 whatever, you. whatever. Do you have anything else to say? Family crest? Okay, there we go. Yes, I've seen a ring like that before. Sin Yaraman wears it. Don't expect that I'll speak with you, though. He has little use for your kind. Although, he ordered a potion from me last week. If you deliver it to him for me, he might be willing to talk to you. Oh, I see. So it's probably the other Altmer who wouldn't talk to us. See, that's so random. Like, why do you have to... Because, like, surely you would think to go to the inn first. Because that's, like, where you go for information. Why would you even think to go here? I don't know. Whatever. I'll take it to him. <laughs> Here you go. Don't know where you'd find him, though. He wandered in here last week and said he'd be back soon. Who knows, though? Could be months before he returns. Better you find him yourself. Okay. Yeah, 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 well, whatever. Leave me alone, man. Nobody's got anything but scorn for me, and it gets really old. <laughs> I mean, I know we're, like, you know, a, a blood-socking monster and all that, but it, 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 they can't look past that. I mean, come on, it's 2024. I, mean, I guess it's, like, 2002 in, in this... <laughs> <laughs> when this game came out, but I mean, come on. You can't give me a little bit of grace? Whatever. Okay, so let's go back to the inn. Uh, as per usual, I don't remember the names of the old man, so... <laughs> let's see, are you... Yeah, there we go. Beast, away with you. No, I have something for you. I will not... Ah, there we go. I have the potion you ordered. Very well, what do you want? Oh my god. See, why would they... Whatever. Whatever. Tell me about the family crest. Yes, that ring bears the seal of my great family. Where did you get it? Never mind. I'm sure it was taken off one of my ancestors, killed by your kind. Ah! <laughs> You're close. A few have been. The most recent was Villandon, my grandfather. Perhaps that ring was his. Okay, there we go. So her son is dead. Um, and that's this guy's grandfather. So yeah, that, that lady must be really, really old then. Uh, which makes sense, because, you know, she's an Ultma, but also a vampire. And, of course, Ultma, they live, like, eh, they're, like, 200 years on average, I think. So, if it's his grandfather, and he's her, he's, and she is his mother, <laughs> then that would make her, like, what, like, 600, 800 years old, probably. Uh, anyway, anything you know about Villain Dawn? Yes, my grandfather was killed by a vampire. It is no surprise. He hunted your kind to earn his bread. Oh. After his mother and father were slain by your ill breed, 
villain Dunn spent his life trying to hunt you all down. It was his end, though. A vampire named Kjeld finally killed him. Though it is said it was a long and bloody fight. But that was hundreds of years ago. I will speak no more with you. Interesting. So he became a vampire hunter. Which, I mean, can't really blame him. Because, <laughs> yeah, the, they killed his father. And, I mean, they, you know, turned his mother into a vampire. But, you know, since she just immediately abandoned him, it, she's pretty much as good as dead. So... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We now need to head. Yeah, this is very annoying that we can't um can't just go straight back there. But let's go to the Sanctus Shrine. Sanc Sanctus. Sh no, no, no. Shrine. It would help if I could spell. There we go. And we can head back over from there. So which way are we heading? This way. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. I got a little bit of backstory there. That's always nice, you know, uh, to actually have some lore about the characters we're you know doing stuff for. Let's um. Oh look at that. We have Vampire's Touch. Absorb health 10 to 30 points for one second on self. Cool. Yeah, we do actually have a, which is just absorb health. Um, the typical vampire spell. So yeah, we do have a, a new spell for being a vampire. That's kind of cool. And yeah, I think, oh, we also, we didn't look at the stats for this one, did we? So we have, oh yeah, we're levitating right now. <laughs> we have fortify attributes, strength, willpower, and speed. So strength is, strength and speed are 20 and willpower is 40, which is like amazing. <laughs> so what is our stuff at now? Yeah, endurance is 70. Agility, I mean, oh yeah, look at that. Willpower is 139. <laughs> so yeah, that's obviously really good because we're a mage and of course willpower governs. Yeah, resist magic and your maximum fatigue. Oh, okay, that's not actually, intelligence would be better. But uh, yeah, there we go. So I think this is like the magic clan, which makes more sense for her to join, of course. Watch by skill, sneak, athletics, acrobatics, hand to hand, unarmored, mysticism, illusion, destruction by 30, and mysticism, destruction, and short blade by 20. Uh, normal stuff, yeah, resist disease, normal weapons, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there we go. We got some cool bonuses. Uh, and yeah, I think this one is definitely the one that is most suited to Orena, although we will not be remaining a vampire because we can't do anything <laughs> as a vampire because no one will talk to us because we're a, you know, smelly, horrid creature. Uh, which is fair enough, to be honest. I don't think I'd want to talk to a vampire either. But, you know, I did. They just need to be more open minded sometimes. But, whatever. Anyway, now we've got to try and find our way back through this. <laughs> back through this maze. Uh, where is the. Where, where's the where's the hole in the floor? Uh, okay, there's the hole in the floor. Well! Okay, well, you know what? I kind of want to see what's down here. So. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Shortcut right there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, hi. You try my patience accident. Okay, well, listen. I have I have your answers. He was, okay. Uh, family crest? About my, there we go. A vampire hunter? And not a very good one, apparently. Interesting. Family is an odd thing, is it not? Defined by blood, separated by blood, joined by blood. In the end, it is all just blood. Now let us put this matter to rest. Find this Kjeld and kill him. That's interesting. See, it's, yeah, it sounds like you still care a little bit. You kind of avenging him, I suppose. Anyway, where where is this man? He is the head. Oh, he is of the Quara clan and resides in Druskashti. He is powerful and will be well guarded. But such is your lot. Go. Okay, the Quara clan. So, of course, we've already been there into to Druskashti. So, we already know where this is. So, it is about here. So, let's go to. Uh, yeah, I'll go to Margan. It's, it's a tiny bit further away, but uh, we can just obviously, you know, take the take the easy route down the the gorge, or whatever the hell you call it. <laughs> not good with names, as per usual. Hi guys, you've seen me quite a lot. Of the, well, I suppose actually not because uh, that that was all just a dream. <laughs> but you know, trust like listen. If you have any strange, you know, dreams or anything about anything, and you know, it's kind of uh, yeah, you, you, if you get any deja vu, just don't worry about it, okay? It's not that deep. It'll all be okay. Now, are there really going to be any enemy? Yeah, interesting. There's, like, less enemies this time? Whereas there were more the second time? That's interesting. I wonder what what dictates that. We obviously we obviously uh, still have a couple of cliff races, because when, when do we not? <laughs> they follow us everywhere. The, the rats of the sky. Oh, my God, they're awful. I mean, everyone always complains about pigeons in England, but... I would take a flock of pigeons any day compared to a cliff racer because, I mean, listen, at least pigeons don't attack you. Unless you've got chips, I suppose. <laughs> but look, if you walk outside with chips around pigeons, that, that's your own fault, honestly. 
You should have known better. Okay, can you, can you die? Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I wonder, like, it's weird that those uh, scribs don't attack, because, like, literally everything else in Morrowind wants to kill you just all of the time. <laughs> that's, like, the one character. Well, that and, yeah, that and the Ash Storms, that's the, the main characteristics of Morrowind. Everything wants to kill you, even the land itself. Um, and also just the game. In I don't know why anyone likes Morrowind, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Because I do not like Morrowind. But anyway, this is Dr Drushgashti, whatever the hell it's called. We've got a cliff racer here, who I'm sure is going to follow me if I don't get rid of him now. So, excuse me, can I hit you? Thanks. Anyone else? Anyone else before I fly over? Okay, I think we're all good. So let's float on over. We could, of course, you know, actually take the, uh, to take the intended path, but who needs to do that when you have levitation? Hey, I love levitation. <laughs> it's the one thing I actually miss when not playing Morrowind. Okay, anyone else? Or can we go in? I think we're good. So, let's clear this place out. Um, and yeah, we can actually loot the place now. Hi guys! Uh, yeah, you, you might recognize me from the, from another lifetime, but uh, I'm here for very different reasons now. We've got some cattle there, not really interested in you though. We're interested in the vampires. So, <laughs> I'm not sure where our actual mark is. Hi! Yeah, okay, yeah, wh whatever. Growl at me all you like. Which one are you? <laughs> okay. Knyaguri? Uh, whatever. Ooh, vampire. Oh yeah, we can actually take the vampire dust now and keep it. <laughs> since we won't be reloading. Okay, we'll keep that door open so we know where we've been. Okay, you're just cattle. There's no point in killing you. Hi. I'm looking for a, a cure? Uh, okay, oh, that's Pelf. Okay. <laughs> what the hell are these names? Are uh, you anything interesting for me in here? Common amulet? Not really anything interesting on these shelves. Anyone else in here before we, you know, start looting the place? Nothing really, just a whole lot of whole lot of trash as per usual. Okay, well I'll take the emerald, and I'll take the emerald, and I'll take the ruby. You got anything? Oh, we got trap. Hell yeah, we can actually take that now. Sneak skill book. Anything in here? No. Okay, just trash. Uh, we'll leave the uh, we'll leave the cattle be, I suppose. No, no need to kill them. Not really gonna get anything from them anywhere. I, mean, I suppose we could um, just level up our destruction, but whatever. Okay, you're just cattle. Uh, I don't actually remember my way around this. <laughs> Why do they only trap one door? That doesn't really seem to make any sense to me, but whatever. Uh, we got, oh, that's a cool hammer you got there. Are you the person? Oh, Kjeld, are you the person? You might be. I forget what the name was. Was it? Yeah, Kjeld. There we go. So yeah, you're the one who killed um, her son. Interesting. Uh, anyway, while we're here, <laughs> you have a whole load of really cool chests that I would like to open. We didn't do this before, but we can now. Alteration increase. Nice. You got anything interesting in here? Ooh, Daedric Greaves. Huh, yeah, hell yeah, I'll be taking those. <laughs> those are really rare. Ebony boots. Yeah, she's got a whole load of uh, kind of random mismatched armor in there, but cool nonetheless. Anything in this chest? Another heavy Dwemer locks chest. Ooh, we got well, weapons. Oh my god, oh my god, look at all this stuff. It's so valuable, but it weighs so much. Oh my god. Yeah, it weighs so much. Okay, iron. Okay, that's not really worth anything. We've got the glass stuff. Oh, uh, 5,600. Oh, it actually only weighs 4.8. Yeah, we'll take that. Ebony short sword? Yeah, we'll also... Yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> Man, I love gold. And it's... Listen, it's not a Renner's uh, modus operandi, but it is mine. <laughs> Always mine. Okay, anything anything else interesting in here? No, okay, we're good. Okay, so we've killed Kjell, but while we're here, we may as well clear out the place. Okay, so to the lower level. Hi. Oh, yes, of course. I remember the lower level now. Hello. Hello, people. Oh, I did. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to unlock her. That's um, that's not gonna work. I mean, die! if you want to tell me like your deepest, darkest secrets before you die, that 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 works. Is that is that what the spell would do to people? Or I don't know, maybe open something else. Who knows? <laughs> Wooden staff of peace. Now you can keep that. It's worth nothing. Okay, who? I know there's someone else back here. Die! Yeah, here you go. You with your ebony armor. Excuse me. Can I can I actually hit you? Stop backing up. It's rude. I'm just trying to kill you, man. Uh, that's the cattle. Don't care about that. Okay. So I think the leader is down this way, right? Probably. Oh yeah, of course you got all the ebony stuff. But uh, should I take that? Or is there anything that I can take that's like not too heavy, but uh, you know is worth quite a lot? Ten worth five thousand. Eh, yeah, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> we don't really need money at this point. Hi. Die. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not going to die. And also, this actually serves a dual <laughs> purpose because <laughs> we can get something else while we're here. So we have a poison glass sword. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take the key, we'll take the vampire dust. Uh, you can keep the potion of invisibility. Uh, ooh! 
So, yeah, glass left hole. Yeah, those are actually really worth taking. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we can definitely afford to take these. Uh, 18, of course, we I think we've got extra carry weight from the um, vampire stuff, so we'll have to sell this before curing vampirism. So that's okay, you can keep the glass curious, though. Uh, now, you guys, I am. I know you got upset at me last time, but I am going to steal this stuff. Yeah, no, yeah, whatever, I'm a thief, I know. <laughs> so, we have the blood of the Quara Masters, which we are going to take. Because uh, we do need that for something else. Now, listen, these guys have pissed me off uh, because you keep you, you keep you keep calling me a thief, and I don't appreciate that. Okay? Do you have anything, guys? Probably not. Yeah, you just have yeah slaves slaves braces. <laughs> we have a Dwemer coin here, which we will take, and I think we are about done here. So, I think there was uh, one more path over to this way to the left. Yes, indeed. Yeah, okay, you're just cattle, so don't care about you. Anyone else? Hi. Yeah. See, I knew there was something else in here. And you've got a whole load of goodies for me. So, wooden staff of shaming, that's trash. I'll take the vampire dust, though. We have, yeah, cure blight disease, still boots. Exclusive. Oh, yeah, those, those are worth something. We'll take it. Yeah, we're going to have to go to uh, Mournhold and sell all this stuff. Let's unlock this chest. Where is our master open spell? There we go. We don't technically need the master one, but whatever. We have, ooh, a feather belt. Oh, okay, that's, that's cast, though. Eh, yeah, whatever. Okay, you got anything else? Yeah, no, the, yeah, the, the apparel's not really worth that much. Peacemaker, of course. Yeah, that's not worth much at all. Quality Potion of Shadow, sure, I'll take that. Iron Dagger, crap. Ooh, Glass Dagger, I'll take that, though. Uh, we have Firebite Stars, worth nothing. Uh, we have a Dreg Staff. Eh, it's not really worth enough to take, I don't think. Okay, anything else, or are we good to go? I think we are good to go. So let's make our way out. We'll let the, uh, we'll let the other cattle live, I suppose. I mean, it's kind of... I know, I guess they're just going to starve to death down here since they <laughs> don't really want to make a run for it or anything. But you know what? That is not our problem. If they want to remain slaves, that that's their, that's, that's their problem, you know? Okay, so, uh, should we just head back over from it? Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a walk, but we can do that. So, let's head back over. We can tell her that we've uh, uh, ki killed her son's uh, killer. <laughs> or defeat her, I, I don't know. Yeah, it does seem like she does still, still care at least a little, little bit. Or perhaps it's more just like a... Uh, like like a vendetta thing, like yeah, because you know that the Dunmore are very like clan and honor based, so I suppose they might, you know, she might feel the need to, you know, even though she clearly doesn't really give a shit about her son since she became a vampire and just left him. <laughs> um, you know, I guess like he's still technically like part of her like family clan or whatever, and so she has to like settle the score or something. I don't know. Um, or maybe she does deep down still care, although she has a very funny way of saying it, if that's the case. Because, uh, yeah, who the hell just... <laughs> who the hell, like, watches vampires murder murder their husband and then, you know, become a vampire themselves and just abandons that? Like, who does that? <laughs> no one, as far as I'm concerned, unless she was already a bit of a sociopath, like, prior to that happening. But who knows? Anyway, let's, uh... Wait, can we pick up the pace? I mean, come on, we've got so much speed and yet still... I feel like we make no, like, we, we we don't run fast enough, but whatever. I really, really wish that we have the, uh, the, the clear sky shout from Skyrim, because, man, all of these ash storms, they really, they really get on my nerves eventually. It's just, like, I can't see anything, and it's just, it's, so, it's such a loud sound effects, and it's just, like, listen, I just want to be able to, you know, view the game that I'm playing in peace. But apparently that's uh, not an option. So let's uh, shock this guy to death. Because yes, of course, he's going to have beef with us. Oh, would you look at that? Clear skies. There we go. <laughs> I spoke it into existence. It's called manifestation, guys. <laughs> you just have to believe it and it will happen. I don't actually believe that, but whatever. The point is, we are back here and we have completed the task she wanted. So, hi, I, I am back. We've got to uh, find our way back. Where's, where's the hole in the floor? <laughs> Where's the hole in the floor, guys? Uh, ah, there we go. There's there's the hole in the floor. We're gonna drop down, or, or, or float down, I suppose. Eh? Which way are we? I'm, okay, I'm going the wrong way. Hi, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I try my patience. I know. I've killed Kjeld. Well done, new meat. You have some potential, perhaps. This matter is now settled. You have access to the clan services. Okay, excellent. Uh, plan to serve me? You try my patience, but I suppose I can make further use of you. You are expendable after all. I wish for you to take care of a bothersome vampire hunter. 
Yes, he came nosing about our lair some weeks ago. Some of my spies have tracked him to the city of Aldrun. It is not enough for you to kill him, though. I want you to kill him in broad daylight. Oh, man, okay. With plenty of folk there to see his death. Let it serve as an example for all who would dare intrude in ash milk. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, that sucks. We're gonna get a bounty, but fine. I will kill this vampire hunter for all to see. You show some degree of bravery, but you are young and stupid. No matter. Find this one who kills our kind. Bring him to justice in the light of day, and let us all, let all who see know that they can suffer the same fate. Okay, I bet this is actually pretty difficult because you know we are a vampire after all, and so you know if we were playing properly, um, we would, you know, of course, be like taking fire damage from uh, or sun damage rather from being in the sun in the daytime. So. Yeah, I bet this is actually like quite a difficult quest to do, but we're gonna give it a go. So, uh, where's where's the front door? <laughs> this place is so big and so la a, a labyrinthine um, that yeah, it's difficult to find the way out. But anyway, to Aldrune we go then, and we have to not only find this man but murder him in the middle of the day, which is gonna be uh, irritating, but a needs must, I suppose. So we will make a save beforehand in case we're about to you know just completely screw ourselves over. <laughs> Which is possible, of course. So let's make a save. And now, okay, so first of all, we need to find this man. Who are we looking for? I've agreed to try and kill this vampire hunter whose name I do not yet know. Okay, he believes he is likely basing his operation out of Alderoon, though. Okay. That's not very helpful, though. Because <laughs> the thing is, we can't, like, talk to people to try and find him. So, the only people I know that we are allowed to talk to is people in the Mages Guild. And there's actually another- Oh! Uh -huh. A vampire! Go away! Yeah, whatever. See, now he looks- he looks suspicious, right? You in Oh shit! Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, hang on. What- what time is it? What- what time is it? I need to- okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Let's reload that. Um, yeah, okay, so that- that's interesting. We do- what time is it right now? You can- oh, can, okay, we have to wait for, um, <laughs> let's wait for levitation to wear off, fair enough. What time- okay, 10am, perfect. That should be broad daylight. I mean, it doesn't exactly look like broad daylight, but it, yeah, with Morrowind, you gotta take what you can get, okay? So, yeah, this is perfect. I was gonna say, like, we gonna have to, like, track this guy down, but no, he is just standing in the middle of town, which <laughs> works for me. Hi! I have you. Vampire, the light of day will bring you to your end. I don't think so. I mean, if you're gonna attack me first, then that actually works for me. <laughs> uh, cause, oh, uh, we actually not hitting- Oh, wow, okay, you're- you beefy as hell, actually. Yeah, man, I wonder if he has some, like, resistances to vampire stuff? Who knows? But, excellent, we're all good, cause, yeah, he attacked us first. Perfect. Ooh! Dark Sun Shield, worth 17,000. Drain Magicka, 100 points. Reflect, 20%. Restore fatigue 10 points and night eye 10 points. Hell yeah, that's definitely unique, isn't it? And oh, light of oh my god, that was in um light of day. It's a blunt weapon. Fire damage 4 to 20 points. Shield 20 points. Resist magic of 30 percent and drain magic of 100 points. That's actually like oh, those are on self though. Interesting. Okay, but yeah, that that weapon is um oh my god, it's in the Ghost of the Tribunal uh, Creation Club stuff in Skyrim. And I was, yeah, I was saying, it's actually like a unique looking mace in Skyrim. <laughs> and I was saying, I was like, oh, what, what the hell is this? Like, I don't know what it's from. Well, now we know. It's a specific vampire hunting mace. So there we go. <laughs> and it's ours now. So, excellent. Oh my god, that's so cool. Can't believe we actually uh, got that. But anyway, while we are here in Alderun, uh, we need to, uh, there's, there's something else we can do. So, uh, these people aren't really going to like us, but they will still talk to us. So, yeah, yeah, I'm not welcome here. I, I know, you know I'm your archmage, right? You know, just just saying. Anyway, we need to... Oh, look at that, he still loves us, though. <laughs> we need to ask about rumours? And we not often complains about the archmage... Yeah, Trebonius? Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm the archmage, though, so... Okay, so I think we just need to keep asking, and eventually they will give us the rumour we're looking for. So we'll just kind of ask around. Rumours... Ah, there we go. Okay. I've heard that the youngest L L Lethry runt has decided he wants to become one of your kind. Maybe you can help with that. 
Of course, his mother is against it, and she's got a lot of money. Ooh, well, I like money. Uh, so, can you tell me anything else about... Oh, look at that. We can ask him about vampire killing. See, I guess the... Um, it is weird, because, like, the mages will still talk to us. Is that because, I don't know, like, they're more enlightened or whatever? <laughs> or they're just more academically interested in us? Or is it because we're in charge of the mages' guild? But at the same time, because that mage in the inn, she talked to us and she was just like a... Unless she was part of the guild? Kind of just looked like she was a rogue mage? I don't know. Anyway, do you have anything else that I can ask about this le lethry boy? No? Okay. That's not particularly helpful. Um... But thanks, I suppose. Advice, the secrets. Oh, have you heard about poor Innes Sarandus? He lost his patrimony betting on the guar. Sold every piece of the family silverware to pay his debt. A pity. I think it's driven him a bit mad. Wears clothes fit for a lord and hasn't got a drake for a meal. Didn't we deal with him with uh, a velin for something? I don't know. Anyway, that's not what we're doing. Yeah, we need to find this lethry. But I... Yeah, 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 hiss, whatever. I don't know where he is. Uh, also, I totally didn't. I totally didn't kill this man. Absolutely not. <laughs> Definitely wasn't me. Yeah, I don't know where he is. I assume they have a house. Uh, what was his name? It's not going to tell me. That's very annoying. Okay. Well, yeah. You know what? Yeah, Lethry. Le Lethry Manor. Right. That should be the family name. So we should just look for a Lethry Manor. They should have a house. We got or Orethes. We have um oh yeah, Hanari. Well it wasn't that um Nashland or something, I don't remember. Theron, that's not who we want. T -t Torions. Gildens. Okay, there's no luck so far. It's oh yeah, look at this, we've got quite a few houses back here. Andrethi's house. I Imeril's house. Uh Oris's house. G G Galragoth's house. Ah, uh, Clairvu's house. Yeah, no, that's not what I want, guys. I want, I want the Loretti house. But where is that? We've got, yeah, these are shops. This one is, um, is this Morvane Manor? Yeah, it, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, the Morvanes, they're, they're currently in charge of Ravenrock in the present day in Skyrim. So that's interesting. Isn't that a place haunted or something? <laughs> Wasn't that a thing? I forget. Um, okay, so we've got a whole lot of houses here, but none of them are the ones we're looking for, which is not helpful. So there's like a massive hole in the wall here, guys, which is probably not particularly safe, but I, I, I guess that's not a problem for them. Who knows? Uh, they may be uh, in here, although I don't remember Lethry being like a noble house or whatever. But anyway, we'll, we'll have a look, I suppose. Uh, are these all shops down here? I think so. We have... Oh, Leth oh, I got excited then. Lethavari, but no, not not quite. <laughs> can I can I jump up here? No? Okay, man, this place is so difficult to uh, navigate, but it's, it's very cool, I suppose. So <laughs> They get away with it. Uh, an alchemist, but no, that's not who I'm looking for. And a clothier. Yeah, okay, so that's not helpful. We need to have a look at one of these manors, perhaps? I don't remember Lethry being one of them. Oh, there we go, Lethry Manor. Okay, perfect. So let's make a quick save, because <laughs> hopefully they don't just attack us. And uh, we're looking for his mother, okay, so I guess, because we've got Angel. Okay, well, you're a wood elf, so you're not going to be his mother. You're, I mean, okay. oh, Brenos, though. I don't know. I assume that's like the father, but I don't know. <laughs> we have the Lethry Guard Quarters. Anyone else down here before we go? Oh, man, yeah, this place is huge. Yeah, okay, okay, she might be the person we're looking for, I don't know, they're often, um, the important people tend to be in, like, the private quarters, okay, manor bedrooms, and anything down here, private, okay, private quarters, this might be, oh, okay, yeah, you know what, I remember this place, okay, we've got Tens Nola, we have Dra Draylon, ah, okay, so that, this is, this is the counsellor, Lethry, that, that must be the dad, uh, we have bedrooms, uh, but I don't think we need to talk to the dad because they mentioned uh, the mother and the son, but not the father. And also he's like a, a red around counsellor, so I doubt he'll talk to us. Uh, I don't want to screw anything over. Okay, no one's in here, so probably into the bedrooms then? Perhaps? I don't know the name of the person I'm looking for. <laughs> As per usual, okay, it goes back out to the entrance. Lovely. I do like these uh, red around manners. They're very nicely designed. Okay, I'm looking for... Okay, that's mana entrance. We have a door. Oh! 
You might be the person I'm looking for. I curse you, vampire! Bethassa Lethry. Okay, you might be the one I'm looking for. Is your son through here, perhaps? Okay, yeah, that looks like a son. Okay, so hopefully this is the right person. Make another quick save. <laughs> Are you the woman I'm looking for? I curse you, vampire! Away! Greetings, child killer. That's... They've really come up with some interesting nicknames now that we're a vampire, but sure, whatever. I assume you have come here because of my son? I have indeed. I assumed you had heard the talk about town. Well, there's no harm in telling you now. He wishes to join you in your undead existence. He thinks this will give him the power and respect accorded him. Foolish boy. Maybe you can work with me, vampire. Show my son that your kind is not all-powerful. Convince him you have weaknesses. I have treasures even one of your kind must covet. I will attempt to convince your son. You will? Interesting. I wish you luck in your attempt, Dark One. Maybe your words can succeed where mine could not. You will find my son here in the house, just a few rooms away from here. Unless you show him that vampires are not as strong as he believes them to be, I fear for his life. Find a way to show him this, vampire. Yeah, I mean, I think in reality it actually would be pretty valuable to have, <laughs> a, you know, a little Lorethi boy, like, you know, one of the Red Around Counselor's sons as a vampire but it also doesn't really work the same in Morrowind because they hate vampires so much that you literally can't infiltrate the courts or anything like you can in Skyrim so yeah not really that useful I suppose so let's go maybe this will give us some good karma so that they hate us less but I doubt it <laughs> so let's go and talk to him hi I hear you want to be a vampire I you, vampire away really I mean I thought you wanted to be or whatever Greetings, Dark One. I am yours. I submit myself to your will. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit heavy, okay? You should at least um introduce yourself first. I don't know. Yes, that is what I wish to do. To taste the blood of the living, to walk the night at will, feeling the power coursing through my veins. I wish to join you, to become truly powerful and respected. I wish to kill mortals and bathe in their blood. I I Okay, listen. <laughs> I understand wanting to feel respected and powerful, but becoming a serial killer, a cannibal serial killer, no less, is going to do the opposite. <laughs> I mean, I suppose powerful, yes, because you do actually get a lot of benefits from being a vampire in this game. But no one's going to respect you. Like, this is Morrowind. They literally hate vampires the most of anywhere in Tamriel in Morrowind. Why would you... Okay, um... Okay, your logic's a little bit flawed, so let's let's just challenge him, I suppose. <laughs> you think this will bring you respect? Of course, respect, like the respect you get. Like the respect all vampires must get from we ridiculous mortals. I must be like you, and it's the power that I crave. Power to be able to crush any mortal man who would dare oppose me. <laughs> yeah, I think you've definitely got this backwards, because I have a... See, the thing is, I've actually I've been called more names. <laughs> than I have been in the entire rest of the game just in this like last hour that I've been a vampire it's really not all it's cracked up to be um and also it, like you burn in the sun which is just like not cool you know so the power is nothing compared to the pain it brings pain but of course dark one pain to the mortals we prey upon <laughs> okay you're so delusional I will slay them without mercy I will walk the night with true power I will kill all those who do not show me respect you do not understand the loneliness of this unlife. You talk in circles. There is loneliness in this life as well. Why will you not listen to me? You have the strength that I need. Let me join you. I will want power to crush man and mer, just as you have. Um. I mean, yeah, we clearly are talking in circles here, so let's try this one instead. You are too weak to be a vampire. No, 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 no. You don't listen. I have the strength of my resolve. I have strength of will. I will not end my quest until I have the physical powers to crush my enemies. You have that power. I know you do. You are strong. You must be. No mortal can stand against you. Many vampires are slain by mortals. No, you tell lies. I know this is not true. Why? You would kill me with but a single blow. This is why I must be a vampire. To have that strength I know you possess. Clearly, you do not think enough of me to allow me this power. You, who could kill me with a single blow, must understand my desire for your power. Show me. Show, show, show you what? I don't, I don't understand. What does that journal say? 
I've spoken... Okay, yeah. So Sanville Lethry has become more and more agitated the more I try and convince him to abandon his quest to become a vampire. He's convinced that vampires are the height of power and that without this kind of power, he'll be weak and worthless. For I mean, you're the son of a counsellor, like... <laughs> okay, the height of... Yeah, I mean... Your serv... Okay. Did we screw this up? I think I think we screwed this up. <laughs> yeah, I mean he has nothing to say. What the hell? We might have to reload. Like I, I don't even know. Like did we do something wrong? I curse you, vampire! Curse. Away! I will not have. Yeah, okay. Rumors, rules. Okay, yeah, that's just house red around. What the hell? I mean, does he want us to kill him? I don't understand. I'm gonna look this up and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so apparently the answer is that you have to get him to fight you. <laughs> Which, uh, whatever. So the point is, if you just insult him, we chose like the nice route. If you just insult him the whole time, then he should automatically attack you. But if not, you just taunt him until he attacks you. So there we go, he should okay, attack us. Vampire. Yes, Away. indeed. Now, we may have to turn off God Mode in order for this to work. But we'll see. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to turn off God mode. Um, yeah. Oh, look at that. We've got a, gotten all dark. There we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> You're pathetic. Where is your power, vampire? You have nothing I desire. Leave me now. All I have heard about your kind is a lie. Okay, so yeah, there you go. You just have to wait until he um, gets you down to half. Oh, we are like quite low on health right now. <laughs> Do we have a healing spell? <laughs> we, we've literally never even used a healing spell. Do we have healing? Oh, half heal, restore health. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's try casting that. Is that hell? Yeah. Perfect, there we go. Healed right up. Yeah, I don't think we have that much health, but... what? A yeah, 16, yeah, whatever. Okay, so now we have convinced him that we are weak. And obviously, I mean, he wasn't, he was actually quite right that we could kill him in one hit, but whatever. Anyway, let's go back to his mother. I curse you, vampire! Have you... Away! Okay, hush. Have you convinced my son of the error in his thinking? I have. Excellent. It sounded like there was a fight going on in there, and from the looks of you, it seems you got the worst of it. No matter. I thank you for your efforts. Here, take this. I think it will help even your kind. Fatha's ring has been added to your inventory. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Fatha's... Where is it? Uh, what? Oh, here we go. There we go. Fatha's ring. Fire shield 15. Oh my god, it's worth 5k. Battle shield 15. Eh, yeah. You know what? It actually probably would be quite useful given that um, we are, of course, a vampire. So, of course, we're weak to we're weak to fire. Let's go back to the Sanctus Shrine. We have completed that quest now. But we also need to hand in the other quest uh, for the, the lady whose name I obviously don't know. <laughs> but we can tell her that, you know, her son has been completely avenged. And also we killed the vampire. Hunter, although well, we, we already have just done that, that was before. And then I think once we've done that, we are going to end the episode. I was originally planning on doing like literally all the vampire quests in this episode, but I think we're, we're coming up on like two hours now, I think. <laughs> and I think it's time to, you know, listen, longer episodes are fun, but I think any more would be too long. So we will end the episode after this and we will then continue on in the next episode. And the, more, the, the important thing that I wanted to do was... Uh, of course, all of the, you know, different clan quests that we were having really terrible dreams about, you know, that's totally what happened. <laughs> but anyway, we are here. So let's try and find the, um, the hole in the floor. I'm glad that they put that there, actually. I'm glad they thought to do that. Can I? Man, <laughs> I hate NPCs so much. Get out of my way, okay? I am so, uh, so much more important than you. Yeah, here we go. Can you, can you drop down here? Thank you. Okay, I'm sure that would actually uh, cause quite a lot of fall damage if you played properly. But whatever, I'm back. G plan at dark. Oh, I like that name. Okay. Um, I have killed the vampire hunter. You've gotten rid of him and in full view of the local populace. Well done, little abomination. <laughs> For your efforts, take this. It is an amulet that will allow you to return to Ashmalak when in need. It is possible I will have future rewards for you. Should you be able to rid this world of a large number of the Burn and Quara clan? Now leave me. Okay, so, yes, that future reward is exactly the same as the other two, which is just that you'll be allowed to feed on the cattle. 
which I think we will actually do because uh, yeah, there's obviously no point in doing it previously because we were just going to reload, but we will do it this time. I will not bother to show it, <laughs> but I will do a little bit in between episodes. I think it's 12 vampires that we have to kill. Um, and there is actually a dungeon that is perfect to start with, uh, which is Gallum Deus, whatever it was called, the, the one that's here. Because uh, that, uh, of course, has a whole load of the burned vampires in, uh, but it also has the book that we need to get. Hopefully, assuming that it wasn't, you know, the other book that we already got, which if it is, I don't even know what to do about that. So <laughs> I'm not sure. But either way, we're going to leave this episode here. So I hope you have enjoyed this special episode of Let's Complete the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. We will continue on with this series in the next episode. Um, and yeah, for now, I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you're liking this series. Uh, I hope you like Orena and it's not too weird that like we have multiple characters, but whatever. So, yes, I hope you have enjoyed. Like the video if you have. Subscribe if you would like to see more. And I will see you in the next episode.